<laughs> remember yeah. it was a while i'm like i don't know three hours maybe probably yeah okay we should be live let me i'm gonna do something with the screen share real quick just to restart it for you guys um okay so Sharing in my Discord, because I like I I'll say this like every time, uh, the, my my hatred for YouTube servers grows because uh I'm dropping frames right now, and it's just every time I stream to Twitch, perfectly fine, everything's great. Stream to YouTube and suddenly they're like, uh uh, can't suddenly do that. Everyone loses their mind. Yeah, and it seems so far it seems to fix itself if I do like some slightly different things, but but yeah. So uh hopefully stream is up for everybody. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Can see me everybody. right now. D We're all oh. perceiving you right now. Oh no, no, oh, no. Oh, I didn't no. clean. I'm so sorry. You should have you should have thought ahead. <laughs> should have thought oh. ahead. Are we are we live? I'm like yeah, I mean, packing all of my I... Legos into a big sack. Oh, it's so embarrassing. No, <laughs> it's I mean, so I... loud. Your entire <laughs> duffel bag sack of loose Legos. That's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> Bindle of just Legos. That's what my body sounds like. Uh, I I mean we should be live. I clicked uh, go go live in both places that uh... for the button. So. I'm refreshing. I don't think we're live yet. It, it doesn't say on it YouTube. on my end. I, don't I don't you love? Don't you love YouTube? YouTube is yeah. a great place that monetizes yeah. all the videos. Uh huh. And, and the videos all work. And connects. And me everything's when I, fine. When I try to connect, I give the to biggest thumbs up. Right, let's see. It says I have excellent connection, but if I'm, you know. Who knows? Is it, let me, I'm gonna click end stream and fucking start it again. Yeah, start again. Wait, wait, stream, wait. Stream chat was not reacting as if it was live, so I don't think it's just us. Wait, wait, I'm trying no. to... Oh. We're good! Okay, so I'm gonna do that bit again and I'm gonna find some real Legos. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, now we're live. Wait, oh, there right. it is. Yep. Now, now we're, we're live. There it is. So your bindle sack full now of Legos. Now they can hear Everyone's so deaf. <laughs> sugar, 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 sugar. I can, I can jangle the goldfish. <laughs> that sounds like Legos, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close, but we <laughs> love it anyway. Let's go. What's Hi, up, chat? Hey, hey. Hello. Hello. How you doing? How you feeling? Are you guys so ready for birds? Are you it's ready for birds time? Are you it's ready to fulfill the promise? You ready to yeah, fulfill you... a promise? You can take this chance to fulfill a promise from long ago, or you can live a normal school life this semester, dude. If you're a loser, we're doing a promise. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to okay. fulfill that promise, gamers. All right, gamers, let's just fucking go. Fulfill the promise. $2 from Bird. Blockhead. Bird is the word. Thank you very much. We won't be able to Thank read a lot you. of Super Chats because we'll be doing a lot of reading. Is wow. there anything you desire? I can grant whatever you wish. Tell me. A strange bird once said that. Who was that bird talking to? Anyway, St. Pigeonation! Like St. Pigeonation! <laughs> I assume we could just skip a lot of this, right? This is, oh, is all this just normal. Like the same... Oh, this is all normal? I, I'm i clicking skip normal button. For a minute. I'm, I'm gonna click skip button. I assume they're just gonna, gonna introduce all the birds and yeah. Something crazy happens. I will say this is the first stream I don't have to give you a guide for. I'm just gonna. We have over 200 people watching. Negex is here. Yeah. We all know Negex. We all know. We love Yuya. Let's go. Yeah, and the creepy doctor. Creepy doctor. Creepy Everything's doctor normal. Everything. Nothing's fun. going wrong. Here's the bird who's just a bird. <laughs> Here's the race. School doesn't require Here's... you to no, join that's a not club. The okay. Oh yeah, this it is just doesn't require you to join a club. But you know, it doesn't matter Does what it we do. Matter? I don't have a guide for this. Okay. <laughs> the, 
the the promise route completely breaks off from the guide. All right, all, all right. right. So just do whatever you want, Aloha. I'm gonna do gym class just so we have HP for any JRPG battles. Oh, smart, smart, yeah. smart. We gotta do the promi route. I promi. I. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking up just to be sure there's not anything specific you need to pick. And the first thing I found was a Steam discussion page saying, what is this promise thing, question mark? I started a new game to play with a friend and it gave me the option to fulfill a promise? What is this? And then the first comment is, you're about to enter a world of hell. That's what the promise is. <laughs> so, Honey, you got a big storm coming. Yeah. I do a sick pose. Jojo pose. Yeah, oh hike. Boy. Okay, I'm just gonna. Yeah, yeah. Regular Let's class uh, hike. Don't worry. Everything about is it. normal. Everything Ryota, is happening. Oh my god. Hang out with Ryota, our boy. Oh, our boy with the hurty tummy. Yeah, like gym class for JRPG stat. Ta -da! Sports festival. Sports festival. Normal shit. Normal. We're so normal with it. This route is so normal. Nothing's happening. We're all just sitting here. <laughs> I... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. No. No. Is there, is there a <sighs> log in this game? Fuck. It's fine. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, that's, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They don't warn you that things will happen. Go back. Oh, look. I, I can't go back. We, we reset. No, I'm not resetting. Should reset I reset the entire reset the whole stream? I'm not maybe well, maybe we want to be like saving at each choice in case jumping yeah, forward I think makes shit happen. Yeah, that's that's gone. That's gone. But I'll, I'll, I will I will save now. To... I I am now on the Hatoful boyfriend wiki just to make sure, and it said the last two endings are blank. You get okay. kicked out. You get kicked out. We have to go. I'm not resetting, gamers. Like, it would take too long. Maybe I can just find the. <laughs> the entire chat wants go to loot. We have to go loop. back. Oh, look, okay. I don't think it'll be that much of a difference because we're just skipping anyway. Like, if we were yeah, already yeah, in the yeah, route. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's find it. New Fine. game. New game. Restart. Like, and we can skip the first part, too, where there's, like, the nothing that uh, you, you know what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen? You know, it's, it's gonna, gonna make be, like, two new it's gonna make It's gonna make me look like a massive idiot. Is I'm going to <laughs> skip <laughs> what I've skip already skipped, and I'm gonna it's have after, to... It's after the sports festival, so save before the sports festival. Okay? <laughs> Remember to equip the memory of looping so we get a little more help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Pursuit McGee, yes, human portraits, yes, fulfill the promise. Well, so now that we're at the fulfill the promise again, like, I have ADHD, so can we procrastinate? <laughs> <laughs> we already read this one. Uh, I... Do you desire something? Some weird guy said that. Next. <laughs> Next. Who was that weird guy? And who did he say it to? And was it even a guy? Oh. It was a bird. We know this for oh. sure. Oh. And what's the deal with airline food? <laughs> Thank you All for your super. questions will be answered. <laughs> Thank and you for the more. super. Been loving these streams. Have some money. Thank you so much. Thank you. You feel a tug on your stomach. You got to oh. read the special dialogue. <laughs> if we don't read the special dialogue, a big rock's going to fall on our head. Is the stream off center? Oh, yeah, it is a little bit. Is it? Yeah, move it, it to the right. Yeah, it's probably because I do record some specific stuff. Let me... Transform with the screen. Why, why is it? Why? Wh what's what's up with this? What's up with this fucking stream, guys? What's, what's, <laughs> what's wrong here? You're fulfilling the promise, Aloha. The promise is actively destroying the stream. Why is game capture transform? Why can I not? Oh, wait, game capture transform. Bit the screen. There we go. There we go. There we go. Curse why, screen. Why is this happening? All your qu all your questions and more answered in the promise. I don't think the promise is gonna answer what's going on with the day stream. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
All right, we're we're very close. We're, we're, we're approaching to the sports festival. Lore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sports festival. <laughs> music class. We gotta get it this Fucking time. Years. It's yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, don't skip the sports festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, don't worry, don't worry. is don't, this don't it? Worry. When we get the choice, I'll okay. save. Well, what, what, no, what, the the choice. Yeah, uh, yeah makes it so, so that you can't yeah. save anymore. Okay, so that, right after fine. you make your choice. Yeah, save. don't worry, 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 we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Right. So many questions, all in our saves. Everything good, chat? Is the stream not struggling at all? Everything fine? Everything good? Is the curse? Everything good? Doing fine. Oh wow! Okay, okay, okay. Ready? I've had this dream a lot recently. I can see a little house on the other side of the fence. I wonder who lives there. I don't think it's anyone I know. Ryota is next to me, and my parents are here too. We're all together again, but... Mom? Mm. Dad? Hey, wake up! Please! Yeah, that it was a normal important. school day. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to the school day. Birds smell funny when it's humid. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's learn about Brian Pigeon. Brian okay, Pigeon. Okay, okay, okay. Who cares about what, your What parents. I'm doing is I'm going to save. Yeah. Left Save corner. every time we, we go through a special dialogue. I truthfully... I, I wish there was anything online that I could find that could no, tell you where fine. these will be. Before I, I love... Since when did Prashut have parents? Well, guys, clearly, <laughs> your parents fucking die. I'm, I'm, when a mommy and a daddy <laughs> love each other very much. I'm, I'm just saving every time I hit the skip, uh, before I hit the skip button, just to, just to yeah. make sure that I makes don't. Prashut's parents are Mommy Salami and Papa Roni. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Look at these APMs. Papa save, save. All right, Tanabata. Okay, yeah, yeah. So cool. You got the Ryota Tanabata one. Time. That's it. Okay. I, I I Should we word. proc on Gel? Does it matter? I don't know. <laughs> I, All right, I don't. I, I, I look at my hands. I have no idea. Well, save right here and hold on to this save. No. I'm in, I, I am just as in the dark as the rest of you, and I don't. I barely remember this this entire route. I'm gonna be completely honest. I, I remember some of the broad strokes. Uh huh. That's what I mean. It's like if if you told me to give you the play by play of what happens, I would not be able to tell you. But if you told me to give you like big things that happened, I might be able to, but like vaguely. Yeah, save you, use life. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Thank Try harder you. next time. Oh, uh, someone in chat was asking for everyone's pronouns. Mine are she, they. Uh, he, they. Mine are they, he. Mine are oh. he, they. <gasps> they, them. We got a lot of they's in this stream. That dream again. Ryota, my parents, and me at a stranger's house. The strange bird who comes to me is a magician. He says he'll grant any wish that Ryota and I make. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day. Okay, I'm seeing a pattern. It's mm. after we get our test results and he calls us stupid. <laughs> this shit happens. <laughs> you're dumb and you're like, aw. Yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna still do what I'm doing just to be safe. Yeah, keep saving. Keep saving, we're fine. Fuck we're it. Chill. I'm not I'm not interacting with you. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> sorry, sir. I don't want to tie. <laughs> don't want to I, I, I have nothing to say to you. I don't wish to get decapitated and put into a jar. Carve it into your soul, kid. All these memories, all of them will be explained. Forget it. Who needs a fucking Bug time? it. And then, like, there's one guy that's just like, you have to get the job for the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I found one specific walkthrough, and then the only thing in it is get the job, please. <laughs> just remember to get the job. And you'll be smooth sailing. If you don't, it erases your saves. <laughs> we are being, we're being so safe. So safe. 
I'm out of here, Teach. See you later. I'm gonna take a nap and dream about my dead parents. <laughs> So afraid. <laughs> afraid. Go home and sleep, huh? Sleep about uh -huh. your dead I'm gonna parents. Sleep and, and think about my <laughs> dead parents. <laughs> We're being so safe. I love it. Oh, here we are. We're in the route. There We're it here. is. Oh wait, wait, wait. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna yeah, yeah, there, there was some text. There was some new text. We've changed the it. color of the background of the, the text, text box. box changed. It's new. It's purple now. It's time. That's the only thing oh, that's different. I'm, I'm late. I've been slow getting out before, but I've never slept through my alarm like this. Maybe I'm not getting enough sleep. Anyway, gotta go fast. Sorry I'm late. It's my route. It's I, I'm, I'm the character. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. Not me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Nobody was I sleeping. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Good Nothing. morning, Kawara. Oh, we were just about to sit down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> None of us were ready. I'm like staring at the screen for a second. My brain just went. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. Late on the second day, as expected of a feral. Now, now. Oh, no. Wait, oh. I, am I? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah I'm Ryota, right? I'm, you yeah, are. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In a minute. I'm just not used to not seeing the bird when it's like, Sir, uh, where's Prashut? Uh, isn't she here? Apparently not. No wonder her kind died off. Rude. Where are you, Pursuit? In character. <laughs> Usually be here early. You were late yesterday, and now this? I think we can start homeroom now. Today we'll do a little review on the history of bird kind. You wait until now to teach that. What a pathetic country. It's, it's called review. <laughs> <laughs> of course, everyone learned it years ago but it's required for the second day of the semester. <laughs> Back when we birds were still beasts and pets, a virus known as AH5N1 appeared. What is this fucking 9990 escape shit? <laughs> <laughs> At first it only infected birds, but it underwent a mutation and spread to humans. This mutation strain was highly infectious and had an extremely high mortality rate. It became clear that it posed a threat to the survival of the human species. <clears throat> so the humans engineered a, a powerful virus to cull birds and prevent AH5N1 from becoming a pandemic. In hindsight, it seems foolhardy and rash, but the world leaders of the time saw no better option. Except the new virus didn't work. Infected birds didn't die. Rather, their brains grew in size and power, starting with doves. That's why doves make up the majority of professionally qualified workers today. Other birds, including quails like me, are still adapting to social life. <laughs> Incidentally, I heard that the first puffin in history to hold a governorship was elected last month. You're making me odd, dude. <laughs> <laughs> even cockapoo, uh, even cockapoos, which were once close to extinction, can now be toilet trained. And as you all know, the prime ministers of Japan is a shoe bill. Anyway, the development of social intelligence in birds had a huge impact on their predators, which leads me to the next point. And since their gambit failed. Humans were left defenseless to AH5N1. Most died out. The few that are left now live peacefully with the birds, though in the past there were large conflicts. Ah, now that's the bell. We'll vote on student council members in a second period, so be on time. Pursuit never came. I hope she's okay. 
Maybe I should try, try calling her? Uh, Kuara, do you have a minute? Uh, sure. We're supposed to get our print boxes today. Would you mind picking ours up? Our print box? Yep, it has all the handouts and everything, since we don't have a council yet. Okay, it's in the faculty room, right? That's right. If you could have it back here before second period, please. God, this is so weird. <laughs> Surprise, you're, you're, you're the lore. main character. Yeah, you're the main now. Who needs I have so the many need? questions. Print box, print box. Inside you'll the get some of the answers. Inside <laughs> the faculty office is a stack, a stack of cardboard boxes. These must be the ones. This one, maybe? I pick up the box marked 2-3. It's awfully heavy. I guess paper isn't exactly light when it's there's this much of it. Astute observation. <laughs> this is a lot of paper, and thus it is heavy. <laughs> What's heavier? A kilogram of steel or a kilogram of paper? <laughs> a kilogram of hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. You were okay by yourself? It was a little heavier than I expected, but I was fine. Let's take a look inside, then. Just to make sure everything's there. Huh? Did you cut your wing, Kawara? Cut my... I don't think so. It's bleeding. Huh? It is. Uh, did I scratch myself on something? It doesn't hurt at all. No. That's happened with me before. Like, this, is, you know. this isn't my blood. When you put on hand sanitizer and realize what? there's like a dozen cuts on your hand. Has what? this happened to you guys before? What is, <laughs> what is that? Budget for CG? There's blood leaking through the corner of the box. I feel sick, but I reach out and open the lid anyways. Inside the box is a human head. The eyes are glassy, but even like this, I still recognize her. She wasn't late. She was here all along. Why? This, it can't. She wasn't late, Sting. She was murdered! <laughs> First class. <laughs> Looks like this pursuit has been thin cut. What? Look away, Kawara. Looking will only hurt you. <laughs> emergency alert. Emergency alert. We have entered a state of emergency. All students, please evacuate to the gymnasium. Repeat, we have entered... Cuckoo, what's happening? Why is everyone everything red? I don't know. <sighs> Until we know what's going on, there's nothing to do but follow instructions. What are you spacing out for, Kawara? Come on! N no, I, I don't want to leave her shoot here alone. Let up! She's gone! That thing is no longer McGee. It can't be. Mom! Bro, so this is happening. <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> what the fuck? This By is the why I was like. And then Monokuma shows up. This oh, is why this I was like, "Hey guys, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be playing every incidental character because I'm gonna be dead." By the time we arrive, we'll play the black and white bear when it shows up. <laughs> By the time we, were... God, yeah. By the time we arrive, the gym was already crowded with students and teachers. No one seems to know what's going on, though. The gym echoes with whispered speculation. Hey, did you see the box? Yeah. yeah. You had that too? Yep. Well, the class rep opened it and I didn't see, but apparently there was a human arm in it. Ours had half a leg. It was really gross. From the snatches of conversation I hear, it sounds like all, all the print boxes had pieces of a human corpse in them. Were they all pieces of pursuit, I wonder? Nobody seemed particularly concerned. <laughs> Which isn't Doesn't all that odd. Into this situation is not right. <laughs> it was grotesque, but it's not like it was a it was a dead bird, just some primate. Uh, Nanaki, this isn't some idiotic disaster drill, is it? We're not supposed to have one until next month, and we wouldn't put human limbs in a <laughs> box for a disaster drill. <laughs> do you suppose that has something to do with that distasteful box? That was definitely McGee's. Uh, no, won't someone explain this ridiculous state of affairs already? Yeah, someone tell me what's going on. This is a bad dream, right? Someone wake me up. 
someone. Oh my god, I didn't know what to say anything. <laughs> oh fuck! Not, not even wrong, but it's the normal Japanese. I no one oh. say anything. We're not talking about taking her off anymore. <laughs> Uh, this is, uh, again, I'm going to play all the in chat. I'm playing all the incidental characters because Pursuit's dead. Um, so this is the principal, I believe. Damn. Everyone Damn. here. Is this is Ichijo Mino, the headmaster. The headmaster? <laughs> Seems we have all gathered together without panic or noise. Excellent. Unfortunately, there has been a natural disaster outside. The school is a designated evacuation site, so please remain here a little longer. Natural disaster? Nonsense, the weather is perfectly clear. Cool, Okusen felt no earthquakes. It's not like we're anywhere near a volcano or anything. I demand an explanation, Headmaster. Just what is going on outside? Does this have something to do with Miggy Pursuit? Why have you brought us here? I repeat, there has been a... No, imbecile! <laughs> Saki is angry. The gymnasium erupts in whispered discussions once more. Well, that changed nothing. I still have no idea what's going on. Are you alright, Kuara? No, um, yes, I am. This could prove to be a very bad day for us all. Could prove to be. It already is. Cool. Mr. Nanaki, Pursuit is missing. <laughs> I have to play this fucking thing. Cool. She must have been, she must have run off somewhere. Okasan, we'll, we'll go look for her. Oh, Okasan. No, San, no, she's. San is an older breed, much closer to pigeons of the human era. Maybe he doesn't understand the concept of death. Trying to explain would only hurt, hurt myself. The headmaster have proven entirely unhelpful. What should we do next, Nanaki? Well, we can't exactly carry on with class. I agree with San. Let's go get Prashut. Calm yourself, Kawari. To relinquish your sanity during a state of emergency is suicide. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Sir, mm -hmm. we can't just leave her there like that. May I go back to the classroom just once? Well, the principal did ask us to remain here, but he didn't say we couldn't leave the gym, now did he? <laughs> I'm coming with you. As president of the student council, I have a responsibility to get to the bottom of this. Thanks, Sakia. Don't flatter yourself. I'm not doing this for you. McGee was foolish, loud, and had no manners or sense. But she never deserved anything like this. I swear by my blood and name as a label, I will find the one who did this. <laughs> you shall be my assistant. Come, Kawara. Right. They are the, friends. They didn't they decide friends the student council yet, right? Like, he just decided that he was the president. Yeah, yep. they, they, they haven't had the election yet. <laughs> yeah. He just said, well, I, as the president, of course. <laughs> and so I exited the gymnasium in Sakia's majestic wake. I want to, I want to know what happened to Pursuit. Who did that to her and why? Can the evacuation possibly have nothing to do with her? Why wouldn't the headmaster explain anything? My head was raging, a raging whirlpool of questions and no answers, and I did not yet know what we would find. I can't believe we're just playing Danganronpa now. <laughs> we're just doing that now. <laughs> what is this? A wall. A huge <laughs> gray. <laughs> what had been a clear autumn sky is now blocked off by a dull gray. A dull gray. Oh. It's almost, mm -hmm. it's dark, almost like the sun has already gone down. A dome. Rather, we appear to be shut in from above as well. What? When did they do this and how? All that extra HP, it did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of us, I don't think any of us was in full command of the, his facilities. I don't think any of us was in command of his facilities. Faculties. As we, of his ha faculties as we came this way. We can't be certain that this wasn't already here. 
It does seem most likely that it was put in place while we were all in the gymnasium listening to the headmaster, though. I'm just imagining I'm holding a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> he did say there was a natural disaster. Maybe this is some sort of shield? A disaster so destructive there's nothing to be done but hide under an enormous gray blanket and wait? Maybe they didn't give the headmaster the details to avoid, avoid causing a panic? If that were the case, they would be robbing us of our right to know our very lives are in danger. Is this really a shelter? Is there really a natural disaster? Either way, we don't know if there's a connection between what happened to Pajut and all of this. Let's go to the classroom and then tell Mr. Nanaki about this dome thing. Very well. My also, theory... I do believe this predated Danganronpa. This, did, did, this predated Danganronpa and V3, which has a dome like this. So I'm not <laughs> saying they took it from this. I'm just saying. My hot, theory, hot to full walk run. so those games could run. <laughs> did you say chicken run, Navi? Chicken run? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the other classes have left theirs as well. They're at the, they're at the teacher's desks. Is everybody else planning to stay in the gym? Japan is a country full of fools who have grown lazy through too much, through too much peace. I doubt anyone else has dared take it upon themselves to investigate this matter. We're here. Still racist. That's not <laughs> no going to change anytime soon. <laughs> no one's had their character development from the routes. This is this is my, a world where Pursuit did not date anybody. My tummy hurty. The box is still <laughs> where I left it. Inside is. I can't. Sakia, I'm sorry. Could you? No matter. Hmm. What is this madness? Huh? There's nothing here. Oh. That can't be right. We left it right here. It's not like it got up and moved on its own, is it? Someone came and removed it while everyone was at the gym. This is life, not some third-rate mystery novel. Somebody. Uh, somebody. Exactly, Sakuya. Oh, it's Yuya. Yuya. Oh, Hello, I return. <laughs> you, Yuya, I don't know who you are. I don't think I've ever had a conversation with you on screen. <laughs> I don't think so either, but salutations, Ryota. I see you're babysitting Sakuya. Do not throw my name about like some cheap toy, mongrel. <laughs> How cruel. Well, I can't blame you for being tense, given the circumstances. I think you'd act like that regardless of the circumstances, Yuya. I am sorry about her. It pains me to think what happened. His expression clouds. It's strange. I've never seen him with any expression other than carefree cheerf cheerfulness before. You should play my route. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> You'd known her for a long time, right? Yes. Do you know something about all this, Yuya? Well, most of this business is still a mystery to me, but I can at least answer the question we face right now. The whereabouts of the corpse, you mean? Yeah, that. As you said, this isn't some third-rate mystery novel. Corpses don't disappear, and we won't be having a famous detective show up and find the culprit for us. Anyway. The other infirmary assistants and I gathered her up in the chemistry lab. Chemistry lab? What for? For one, well, we couldn't just leave her scattered throughout the school, if only for the mental health of the students. Secondly, for the autopsy. As you know, we have two things going on at once here. The only human in the school was cut up and distributed to the rest of the school, and now there's some natural disaster happening. I imagine you're wondering if there isn't a connection between the two. We are, but we haven't found anything. What do you know? I told you, this is all a mystery to me too. I suspect that we will have an easier time investigating the murder, as long as we're sealed in like this, though. The doctor should be proceeding with the autopsy by now. The doctor? Why him? You don't trust him? Uh, no. yeah, yeah. Uh, of course <laughs> not. What I mean, reason? Like, we found her disembodied head and, like, I don't know, like, in a different route. Uh -huh. He might have, like, decapitated. What it's do you fine. mean different route? I only know about my route. <laughs> yeah, you Ooh. don't trust him. Ooh. Uh, yeah, but do you not? 
<laughs> That's a good point. You just doesn't trust. Her. Of course not. I I don't want to think about what might he might do to her. He might even have have. Hmm. You suspect the doctor? Yes. Everybody know. Everybody knows he's a nutcase. He probably killed her for some crazy experiment. He is an expert in the field. Who else could perform the autopsy? But. I know where you're coming from, Ryota. He's not exactly the most ethically minded bird around. That's why I asked Professor Nanaki to come too. He should be there by now. If you want to go, make sure. All right, we'll go later. So Pursuit has been gathered in the chemistry lab and the doctor and Mr. Nanaki are examining her now. Mr. Nanaki might not be the best witness, but he's better than no one, right? We know where the corpse went then, but why are you here? Me? I'm investigating. Under my own orders, of course. Playing detective, Mongrel? That and I have to make sure we didn't miss any pieces. Anyway, what are you two going to do now? Personally, I think the murder and the evacuation are almost certainly connected. I'm inclined to agree. The headmaster's refusal to explain our situation makes me doubt his story in its entirety. Indeed. So, Ryota. Yeah? I know how you feel. You want to find the one who did this to Pajut as soon as possible, right? Yes. <laughs> so were any of you expecting this? <laughs> Uh, the Scooby Gang mystery? No. The Scooby Gang dang oh, around the street. <laughs> I've kind of like accepted that I can't predict this game anyway. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm I'm so confused. <laughs> but honestly, you could you could stop me at any route and be like, were you expecting this? And I'd be <laughs> like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Every route's taken such a hard left turn. Riotas was pretty straightforward. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, that's true. Gone for a moment and suddenly she was turned into this. Who did that to her? I'll find them and I'll... I'm going to find the culprit and I'll... I'll... I've never felt this emotion before, but now I feel nothing else. When I find that bird, I'll... My thoughts exactly. Unfortunately, this school is a mess and we won't find anything by chasing after her shadow. I think we should try and solve both mysteries at once, whenever possible. Of course, the wall could just be there because of some natural disaster. That's about all I have to say. Huh. We don't need your advice from the start. You're nothing but talk anyway, mongrel. Thanks, Yuya. We'll do our best <laughs> to help. Just I just, more talking. I, I just don't listen to him after a certain point, so thank you. <laughs> oh, one other thing. You might want to talk to one in the maintenance office. Tell him I sent you. You mean that antisocial cockatiel dandy everybody hates? Yep, him. Don't worry, he's a good guy. He'll be able to help you, and you might find something useful in there. Well, that's it for the talky mongrel. Adieu. Oh, I don't think you can say that, Ryota. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I got called it like 80 or 40 times. <laughs> He saunters off towards the staircase. A dreadfully obnoxious man. I thought he'd never shut up. He gave us some good advice, right? We should be grateful. Anyway, I don't think we'll find any anything else here. Indeed. Hmm. Where should we head next? I doubt we would go I doubt we would go amiss by visiting the lab, the maintenance office, or my or by investigating the wall outside. Right. So here are our choices. No. It's JK. Nope. Let, no. I, oh, only no. Pajute gets to make choice. I am bird, so therefore I make no choice. Let's go to the office first. Maybe this one guy will be able to help us. I At must point, reiterate, there will be zero choices. Oh, yeah. This is it's, just a visual novel at this point. We will be reading and there will be no making any decisions because bird. Gotcha. <clears throat> The maintenance office. In other words, the repairman shop. I doubt we'll find anything useful there. You just said to go, right? I doubt the integrity of his advice. Jeez, is that anything to say about your own brother? You should be nicer to your family. My family? 
Do you mock me? That filthy, blooded mongrel is no relation to me. Whoa, calm down. I guess his elitism is still running running business as usual. Uh, we don't have time to waste. We should hurry. The maintenance room is in the corner of the main building on the ground floor, right? That's, that's my legs. <laughs> that's your legs? Yeah, my little pigeon legs. <laughs> Excuse us. Plus the bag of Legos you're carrying along with you. <laughs> what is this? This doesn't look very educational. The handyman pretty much lives in here, I think. Did anyone voice one before? I think so, but I don't remember who. Oh, uh, it was me. I could take him over if you want, because you're playing Sakuya. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Also, chat, was this anything other than a visual novel before? It was a dating sim, obviously. Uh -huh. We had choices, and we could date. We could date one of the birds. Not anymore. We dated all the birds, but now we're dead, so we can't do that. Mm -hmm. A dove, and one more. Mr. One, hello. What are you doing here? Didn't you hear the alarm? I'm Ryota, and this is Sakia. Uh, we got permission from our teacher to, teacher to investigate the building. Didn't you hear the alarm? No panic, no noise, and no leaving. That's what I do here. Whoa, somehow somehow he seems really cool. <laughs> I say mean... out loud to his face. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you're too lazy to go to the gymnasium? Don't worry about me. You two go ahead and find your class there. No, we're not. You mean to interfere with us, wretched fool? Um, Yuya said we should ask you for help. Sakazaki Yuya? Yes, him. We decided to honor his request by coming all the way over here. Do you intend to stop us now? Sakia, where the heck are your manners? Uh, sorry, he transferred from overseas and his Japanese isn't too great. He certainly has more bark than I imagine he has bite. Very well, come in. <laughs> Damn. What did you say you gentlemen were investigating? Two things. The murder of McGee Pursuit and the mysterious wall outside. You've been here the whole time, right? Do you know what we're, what he's talking about? Yes, I got an idea of it from Mr. Sakazaki. In other words, you know only what... Oh, no, that's Saki's yeah, line. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. It's all good. In other words, you only know what you have heard from that mongrel. Useless. I know plenty about the school itself, though. My job is to take care of the entire campus. Maybe you know what the big gray wall outside is, then? Nope. Useless wretch. Sakia, calm down. Though, I'm not sure there's anything we can learn learn here right now. Oh, wait. Mr. One, could we use your computer? Maybe we can find out what's going on outside. Sadly not. Everything's been cut off since this morning. Even the telephone wires, hey? This is, this is too thorough. I can't think of any reason why they'd need to cut communication systems off if it were some sort of storm protection. This has been a wild goose chase, then. A complete waste of time. Let us go, Kawara. Wait, I have a bright and massive piece of advice for you. Bright and massive? What? If you get stuck, try the headmaster's office. I've been almost everywhere in this school, but never there. You might be able to find something out about that wall if you check in there. Of course, the headmaster did not speak to us in person in the gym. If he was broadcasting from his office, then he might still be there. Asking him certainly seems like the best way to get some solid information. We should try that. If you need a break later on, feel free to come back here and rest. Anyone Mr. Sakazaki sent is trustworthy. I'll get you some notes. If you find anything, you can come write it down. You never know what will happen in a situation like this, and you don't want to forget anything. Thank you, Mr. One. We can come back here later. For now, we should check the lab or the wall. After those two, two we can try the headmaster's office. Go to... Oh. Oh. I lied. Oh. What? Actually a choice. Actually a choice. I lied. Hmm. I, I don't... 
I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know what I don't think the choice matters. does. I don't, I don't think, think it matters. matters. I'm gonna check out the wall. Okay, go for it. Why not? If it mattered and all of my walkthroughs I looked up have just been blank for no reason, then I would be so <laughs> pissed. Yeah, I, I got completely tricked reading by the fact that Sakia wasn't on screen anymore, but I think now Sakia has effectively joined the party, so mm -hmm. they might not show him on screen when he's talking. We step outside once more. The gray dome remains, blocking out the morning sky. Uh, let's hmm. go get a... Yeah, this is me. Let's go get right. a closer look at it. We can't see much from over there. Indeed. It it literally did the thing that we just... Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's tricking us. us. <laughs> this is part of the game now. Hmm. Iron, maybe? It's quite firm at any rate. Maybe this is some sort of shelter. Uh, my phone's out of range. Maybe this wall is blocking the signal? That seems likely. Fuck this wall. Always hitting it. <laughs> Beat the shit out of it. <laughs> it sounds thick and dense. Trying to break a hole in it will not be practical. Maybe there's an emergency exit or something. We should check. We still don't know whether or not we're completely sealed off after all. Right. Let's walk around the perimeter. What if this wall is keeping us inside instead of keeping something out? Mm. Doesn't look like there are any doors or anything. Indeed, it appears to be identical all the way around. Do you suppose it's ventilated? I can't say I fancy the prospect of suffocating under this thing without even knowing why it's here. I think an emergency shelter would have some sort of airflow built in, but if not, then we're in deep trouble. Hmm. What are you looking at? Up there. Is that some sort of hatchway? He points upwards. Ah! He's right. About 20 meters up, there's a joint or something of a different color. What does it look look like it might lead out? Uh, that does look like it might, blah, 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 might lead outside. Let's go look. Maybe it's not ventilated. <laughs> Maybe there's a gas leak. <laughs> Maybe there is a gas leak. <laughs> We're all slowly suffocating. <laughs> I don't see any sort of latch. Can we open it by hand? Uh, yeah. Maybe there's a switch or something somewhere. It does not seem like we can get anywhere here now. Let's remember this location and return later. I don't like to think about it, but... If there's really such a terrible disaster out there that this is the only option, maybe it would be better to leave it shut anyways. Indeed. Let us move on. Surely. We still sure. don't know what's going on outside. I've got enough on my mind just thinking about Brigitte, but I'm worried about my family outside, too. I hope my mother's okay. Uh. Excuse uh. us. It's always been one of the gloomier parts of the school, but today the lab is downright depressing. Hello, Gawara. Sir, thank you for being with Brigitte now. Of course. Sakazaki came and asked me to come right after you two left the gym. He must have gone past have... us. Oh, that's you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. It's all good. He must have gone past us. How unfortunate. The doctor is lining the pieces of Brigitte up on one of the lab benches. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> must you glower at me so, Mr. Kawara? I'm not glowering at you. Do you disapprove of my handling her? He gives me an evil smile. Not that. Uh, no, that's not it. How can you smile at me? You don't have lips, sir. <laughs> because my theme is playing, Gwar. <laughs> I just wish we had a doctor who wasn't this malicious. Are you finding anything, Dr. Ilo not yet, no. I only just finished assembling her. It will take some time. I will send word to you when I've finished. Perhaps if you have something else to do while you wait. Very well. We shall not interfere. Come, Koara. Right. Sir, the shoe what's... voice always makes me giggle and twirl my hair. Ugh. That is not a cry. <laughs> Don't crush on him. He will kill you. I'm the worst option. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Kuara, 
A, a moment, please. Columbo? Yeah? <laughs> mm. Allow me to give you a hint. A, a hint? You suspect me of foul play, do you not? <laughs> foul play. Shut up. <laughs> How dare you? In light of that, I shall leave it up to you whether you decide to believe me or not. Anyway, I think you've missed something very important. Huh? One might say that you've forgotten something. Perhaps you should bear that in mind, hmm? You're just a little bit off, but I'm sure you'll find the answer yourself if you keep looking. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful, Mr. Kawara? The sound of your life crumbling apart around you. Ah. Uh... I take it it does not suit your tastes. Very well. He was rather fond of the unusual himself. A pity. He? Well, then. You can handle the outside investigation, and I, the internal. <laughs> Good luck, Mr. Gowara. All right. Thanks, Doctor. I've never wished for the Christmas music to come back on so badly <laughs> when it just suddenly cut out like that. I, like, dropped. Spooky. He's definitely enjoying himself. What a psycho. What did he mean when he said I was missing something? Or maybe he was just trying to lead me astray. Better not to better not to worry about it for the time being. What were you talking with Kawara about, Doctor? Nothing important. I was just giving him a little emotional support and encouragement. I see. That's good then. I'm sure you'll remember not to cause any trouble for my students, Doctor. Freak. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we've finished the first stage of the investigation now. Yeah, we've got a better idea of the situation, I guess. The doctor's working in the lab, the gray dome covers the entire school, but for one small hatch, and we can use the maintenance office as a base. Mr. One did say... Indeed, he suggested we visit the headmaster's office. Yeah, it's on the first floor. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Headmaster, sir. Are you within? We demand entry. Rude even to the headmaster. I wonder if the doctor is the only person in the entire school who he actually respects. <laughs> no reply. Let's go in. Wait, Sakia, that's... Hmm. It's locked? Ah. Where is that old geezer? Maybe he's pretending to be out, out so we'll go away. Indeed, he never was the type to walk about the campus. Or perhaps he's locked the door from the inside and plans to stay inside until the siege lets up. Should we wait around? We have no time for such frival fr frivolities. We shall enter this room if it means reducing the door to a miserable pile of splinters. It's the headmaster's door. I don't think it would be easy to break down. Huh. You speak the truth. Let us ask Nanaki if there isn't a key to open it from the outside. Yeah, we can head back to the... Huh? What? What is it, Koara? I think... I thought I heard something. I hear nothing. Perhaps you're imagining things. Like something's being dragged across the floor. Listen, there it is again, behind... Oh. The fuck? What? Yeah, we get CGs, fellas. Excuse me. Original drawn assets? Oh. For why? Uh, <laughs> uh, Suddenly behind us stood a, gi a gigantic scarecrow-like creature with a rough burlap sack for a head. Second class. <laughs> Second class, everybody. That's our teacher for the next class. <laughs> I'm, I'm I was going to say, it. now we have FNAF. 
I'm sticking to it. This is this is gonna turn out to be chicken run still somehow. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna loop back around. It's all gonna get claymated. It's gonna be great. <laughs> what in? The scarecrow man draws closer, dragging it its long, ungainly met metallic arm behind it. Sakia, watch out! Oh, it's, its arm slices through the air, smashing the window into tiny shards, which scatter across the hallway floor. We don't know what it is, but apparently it isn't friendly. Sakia, we have to run. I'm well aware. <laughs> well, like, well, like the Scooby-Doo bomb goes to play when they run away. <laughs> Did we lose it? I think so. Luckily, it moves so slowly. What was that? Surely no one could devise a prank as bizarre as that. It looked like a biped. It was humanoid, but I don't think it was human. I've never heard of a human made of metal and burlap. A murder, the dome, and now this? I know not who is behind these trickeries, but they must have de but they must have a death wish to mock me so. For now we have to get back to the lab. We need to warn Mr. Nanaki. Back this to the lab you, again. Sakia. It's all, all you. you. It's all it's all you. Oh, welcome back, Kawara. Shiragane. Would you like some tea? You're not gonna believe this shit, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Is this really the time? We cannot afford to relax now, Professor. Hmm. So I take it something happened? Uh, the headmaster. He must have been hiding some s from a s the scarecrow. It smashed the window. Calm yourself, Kawar. You're becoming incoherent. S -s Sorry. We were attacked by a gigantic creature outside the headmaster's office. It was a bizarre thing, like a scarecrow in appearance. A scarecrow? Yeah. It's like it's like the ones the humans used to make. It attacked us, and we ran back here. It was slow, but its arm was heavy and dangerous. Oh, I get it, because scarecrows were meant to fend off birds from crops. Mm -hmm. I get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are the other students still in the gymnasium? And probably not all of them. If there's something dangerous in here, we should probably tell everybody to stay stay together in the gym. I yeah. Well, thickens indeed. Not only are we trapped under this confounded dome, but now it seems we must contend with this monstrous new guest. I wonder what the Scarecrow Man's connection to all this is. A scarecrow man, you say? Doctor! Fascinating. I've never cut into one of those. I'd love to get my hands on it. <laughs> Have you finished your autopsy, Doctor? Yes, for now. I was awake here the whole time, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Nanaki, I believe <laughs> you 100%. Yeah, I believe you. <laughs> You two may well have a right to know what I've found, given your efforts towards the investigation. I shall try to state simply and briefly what I've learned from the lumps of meat which once were Miss McGee. Uh huh. Control yourself, Kawara. Falling out among ourselves would only do us harm. I know. <laughs> Anyway, we lack the tools for a proper examination, but the cause of death was asphyxiation. There are no signs of any strangulation or smothering, so she was either poisoned or sick. She was dismembered after death then, Doctor? It would appear so. There is little evidence of bleeding, so we may assume that she was cut up some time after death. Pajut was one of the healthiest people I know. She went to gym class, like, every day. She couldn't have been that sick that quickly. Meaning someone poisoned her. Why? For the sake of the grotesque, or to make her easier to carry, or for some other reason. What kind of crazy person would cut off a person's head? Disgusting either way. I suppose I should also tell you the estimated time of death. Obviously, I cannot be completely certain, but I believe that Ms. McGee died yesterday, after school. In the evening, then? Precisely. And she was found this morning, 
I mean, like, we could all determine that because, like, the, the, the window is after she left school and now, and it's like, I think she was murdered between the last time you saw her and now, and I'm like, thank you. I said it wasn't going to be precise. <laughs> In other words, unless she was seen yesterday afternoon, she may have been here all along. Kawara, her house is near yours, was it not? Did you see her yesterday? After school, um, uh, no, I didn't. My mother asked me to run some errands, so I went straight home yesterday. That's right, I went home alone. It's too late to regret it now, but maybe if I just asked her to walk home with me. I see. Perhaps we should ask any other students with whom she was close. You are going out again? Be careful. It sounds like wandering around the school could be dangerous. Don't worry, we can we can outrun the Scarecrow if it shows up again. Incidentally, I, I went home early yesterday, too. I left as soon as class ended. So I only know what Ryuta has told me. I wish I had some useful information, but... I was in the infirmary right up until I returned home, as usual. I know nothing of what happened in the rest of the school, sadly. So neither Miss, Mr. Nanaki nor Dr. Iwamine saw Rajut yesterday afternoon. Oh, right. Uh, could we ask you a favor of you, Mr. Nanaki? A favor? The headmaster's office is locked. I think he might be hiding in there. If there's a spare key to his door, could we use it? A spare key? Hmm. Yes, there should be one in the faculty room. Ask, I'll ask the vice principal for you. Thank you, sir. We'll be back soon. Be careful out there. You too, sir. You're you're with the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you're completely safe. <laughs> Kawara is a strange boy. I wonder why he lied about going straight home. What? Mm. My tummy hurty. I hope <laughs> he <laughs> dies. I didn't want to tell everybody, but I had awful diarrhea. Oh, I had the shit so <laughs> it's hard. Not relevant at all. <laughs> we won't be able to talk to the headmaster until we have that key. Let us work on the murder case until then. Right, we should ask every birdie where they were yesterday. The doctor said he was in the infirmary until he went home. I wonder if we can trust him. Do not bias yourself with basic... Why is the doctor the one person that, like, you're weirdly chill with <laughs> I wonder do not, do not the, bias yourself with baseless suspicions Kawara I like dude at the local clan meeting everything was cool man like <laughs> oh, no. yeah oh, I know I think maybe you trust him a little too easily Sakya he's a world authority uh, but that doesn't make him honest you know nothing of what that means the head of the LeBluff LaBelle family. My father was once crippled with, chron with a chronic illness. He was cured by medicines developed by Dr. Iwamide. He makes medicine? Save the sleep talk for your dreams. Have you no idea what contributions he has made to the medical world? I, I didn't know. I thought he was some kind of some, some kid of mad scientist <laughs> cooking up nothing but death and all around woe. <laughs> you have become biased by the foolish rumors of the peasantry. Reconsider yourself. In any case, the Lobel family is indebted to him. A noble bird will never treat a benefactor with disrespect. So that's why he's so polite to the doctor. Doesn't oh, that oh. make him biased as well, though? Well, anyway, let's go. Why was that black box there? That's weird. <laughs> Very well. Go to... I just love, well, Dr. Iwamine knew phrenology, so I trust him implicitly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the maintenance office. <laughs> Mr. One. You two again. Come in. How goes the investigation? Well, I hope. We went to the headmaster's office as you requested. It was locked, however. Yeah, we got attacked by the weird thing outside there. I'm glad you're okay. The office isn't that far from... You, yo. Is that... Yuya? Yuya. Yuya. I guess he's here. <laughs> Was that thing a muddy scarecrow-like man, perhaps? Yuya. Yeah, I didn't know I was here either. 
So you've seen it too? Just now, yeah, on the second floor. Caught a glimpse of it from behind at the other end of the corridor and didn't stick around to let it see me. So alas, I was not blessed with a look at its pretty face. Howard. Bitch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, we ran... <laughs> hey, we ran... We ran away as soon as we saw it too. Anyways, it sounds like it's wandering around the building. Maybe it would be better for you to that leave. really fucking cut <laughs> Don't worry for me, young one. My duties prevent me from leaving this room. You two aren't planning to call off your investigation because of a bad guy or two either. Well, yeah, that's true. Huh. Already stuck in the rut of unadaptable middle age. Don't come crying to us if you get hurt. What the fuck? I've come within touching distance of death in the past. I will be fine. I wonder what kind of death comes that close to maintenance work. Oh. <laughs> then again, knowing the school, there could be all kinds of evil going on behind the scenes. Well then, what are you standing around for? I believe orders were given for everyone to gather in the gymnasium to avoid the scarecrow. Same goes for you. Why aren't you headed over there? Uh I can't just sit around. Indeed. Same here. Hence, walking around the school. On that note, I'd better get back to the lab. Professor Nanaki wanted me there. What for? Something you asked him to do. Oh. Ah, he wants you to help keep an eye on Dr. Iwamine. Most likely, yes. The doctor and Prejude, that is. Anyway, you two go on with your investigation. I'll be watching over her, so don't worry. Right. Wait. Yeah? According to the autopsy, McGee died after school yesterday. Did you see her during that time? Yesterday evening... Huh. What did the doctor say? Just that he'd been in the infirmary all day. I was there too. We were inspecting and cleaning all day so I could verify the doctor's alibi. I told you not to doubt him without evidence, Kawar. Ah, uh, right. At this point, the prime suspect is that scarecrow anyways. That's everything? Well, adieu! We should head out too. But first, let's write down what we found. Alright, let's go. I, I wrote it down really fast. Uh, <laughs> The students in the gymnasium have grown somewhat restless since the evacuation. Shut up with no explanation, and now there's this suspicious individual wandering the campus. I guess even doves lose their cool eventually. Also, Ryota, you really shouldn't have told him the doctor's alibi when he asked before yeah. he told his alibi. <laughs> what did I, the doctor say? Oh yeah, I was there too. Yeah, I did that. I did that thing. My tummy hurt <laughs> guys. <laughs> San, San, where are you? Koo, Okusan is right here, alive and well so far. Cuckoo, where did you go? You and Sakia go. Leaving Okusan behind and going outside is not fair. You just confused the issue if you brought if we brought you along. We came back because we have questions for you. Ooh, come at me, whippersnapper. <laughs> what, what? No, that's not what I. I you usually practice on the on the ground after school, right? Cuckoo, of course. It is Okusen. Oh God, I I can't do my Okusen voice. <laughs> of course, it is Okusen's duty as track captain. <laughs> I'm struggling so hard. <laughs> Did you see Pursuit while you were you were outside out out there yesterday? Koo, Okusen did not see her then, or he was going, or as he was going home. <laughs> Can we really be sure he would have noticed her, even if she had been there while he was running? Good point. Cuckoo, do not look down at Okusan's visual memory. Cuckoo, if you had asked Okusan about the blood-stained interloper he saw, then he would have had had something to say. Huh? What? <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, Sen. What, what did you just say? Cuckoo, do not look down on Okusan's <laughs> visual memory. After that, imbecile! Cuckoo, if you had asked Okusan about the blood-stained interloper he saw, then he, then he would have something to say. Cuckoo, Okusan saw the interloper going to the infirmary. The infirmary? Could that have been Prasut? She wouldn't have been stained with blood until after she died. She was a bit hyper, but I don't think she'd still be walking around at that point. 
Baku. It was not pursuit. It was a bird unknown to Okusan. So someone covered in blood was going into the infirmary after school. Who in... Whatever he is, he's our prime suspect now. Thanks for telling us, San. <laughs> and Jill. <laughs> well, well, at least we found something. Even if it raises more questions than it does answers. Yeah. Some bird who San doesn't know. Could it have been someone from outside the school? <clears throat> it's past noon already. Let's hurry onwards. And so we walked around the school searching for clues of Raju in the mystery, mysterious blood-stained stranger. We were lucky enough to avoid encountering the Scarecrow, but we didn't find any information either. Where to now? Hmm. Nanaki has probably gotten the key for us by now. Let's return to the lab. Okay. Huh. Huh? What is it? Did you say something just now? I did not. Could it be... Could it be that confound scarecrow again? No, it's not him. I thought I heard some some birdie say something. Ugh, don't scare me like that. Though we've been walking around half the day, it's hardly surprising that your mind should be playing tricks on you. This is... the library. What if there's some birdie in here? They might oh. not... They might not have heard the alarm. Let's check. Very well. Far removed from the emergency throughout the rest of the school, the library is the same as always. Empty. It is a little gloomier than usual. Hope there's no ghosts in here. <laughs> I guess there's no one here. Pull yourself together, Kawara. I have no use for subordinates who lose hold of their sanity. Since when am I your subordinate? Sorry, Sakya. Let's head back to the lab. Man, no ghosts. That's crazy. Dot, 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 dot. Oh. oh. Something. Something bad happened. I should have known what would happen after this. If it hadn't been for me, none of it would have happened at all. What was I trying to do here? What did I see? Why can't I remember? I can't hear. What are you saying? You're fading away. It's too far. Miss McGee. Oh. Mr. Nanaki! Welcome back. Have you found anything interesting? Yet another suspicious individual. But we should speak with the headmaster first. Have you gotten the key? Yes, I have. Right here. Thank you, sir. Well, let's go have a look, shall we? The doctor and I will be here. Be careful. I do. Why'd you say it like that? Do you not like me? <laughs> Fuck no, not at all. Yeah, I, uh, I thought I made that like <laughs> utmostly clear. I think those black boxes, Aloha, I'm Darb. supposed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now mm -hmm. we know, yeah. Now we know. Now clear left. Chat screaming ghost date. Ghost date. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true. They can finally be together. No, that's really sad. <laughs> yeah, they're, both, they're both dead. <laughs> Clear right. Now I'm sad. <laughs> good. Doesn't look like the scarecrow is here. That's good. If I had to fly away from something like that, I might panic and hit the ceiling. All right. Quails reflect reflex when they start to fly. Uh, when they're startled to start to fly it fly straight up. Oh, guys, I'm gonna prank Mr. Nanaki so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go boo behind Mr. Nanaki and he goes directly they, vertical into the ceiling. They, they have that hatch in the emergency thing just in case he gets startled so they open it so he doesn't bang his head. <laughs> we should hear it dragging its on when it moves, so we have plenty of time to get away. Let's go in. Right, right. Let's see. The headmaster who gathered us all in the gym without any real explanation. How many of our questions will he be able to answer? That really sound sounded like Ryota dialogue. Yeah. Look at me, game. Look at that dog. Excuse us. Dot, dot, dot. Maybe he's not here. Hmm. That or hiding. Ah, oh, 
there's somebody at the desk. He's sitting with his back to us, and his feathers are unmistakably green of a green of a Nicobar. Huh? Speak to us, headmaster. Have you gone deaf? Saki, be polite. Japan is the country of courtesy, after all. Is it his fault or mine that we had to come here? Headmaster, will you? This. Sakya? Ah. Oh. The thing the here. Thing oh, yeah, yeah, you go. Is no longer the headmaster. His half closed eyes are dull and cloudy. The skin showing beneath his feathers is pallid. What? What madness? Him too? Second oh, class that reminds and... me. We need to pick up our um, print boxes. <laughs> <laughs> we need the handouts for the rest of the year. Yeah, uh, I, I need to make sure I get those. If you could, excuse me. Are you sleeping? I understand. <laughs> Poisoning. Only a few hours ago. I believe he was already dead when the announcement was broadcasted this morning, though. I checked his broadcasting equipment, and it looks like they put the video together from last year's disaster drill footage. Meaning some birdie killed the headmaster and gathered everyone else in the gym. Why would anyone... There's no explanation but mere obscene delight in the grotesque. I think we may all be vastly underestimating the, wa the magnitude of whatever's going on. It might be better if we kept this to ourselves, for now. I concur. Until we have a proper grasp of the situation, telling the others would only cause unnecessary panic. First Prajut, and now the Headmaster, both poisoned. Were they killed by the same person? More rationally, they must have had a reason for killing him and fabricating the broadcast. This must be connected to the quarantine. Since we're finally here, let us search for some clues, Kawara. Right. Investigation music. Easier said <laughs> than done. Every shelf in his office is piled high with documents and papers. Where do we even start? Incompetent feral. Examine each piece one at a time, looking for anything about emergency procedures, plans of the school. Got it. Incompetent feral, look in the pug statue! <laughs> oh, there's a pug! <laughs> Examine everything one by one and be, be clear and direct. I'll start over here with confidential grades. <laughs> PTA records, that's not it. Demographics for dummies, nope. Transfer students, wait, next to that is... The human representative? That must mean pursuit. And the data was from two years ago, right before she enrolled. It's not really related to today's incident, but it might have something useful. I love watching chat go insane trying to figure this out. <laughs> there doesn't appear to be anything about converting the school into a shelter. Anything this large scale would have to leave some sort of paper trail were it official. Hang on, Sakya. What are you reading, Kawara? This. The human representative. It's locked. Even though there's even though none of none of the others are. A minority representative is no more important than a transfer student, or the like. There's no need to have it sealed up like a criminal record. I wonder what's written in here. We can't exactly ask the headmaster to open it for us. I don't suppose the key is in here somewhere. Maybe we should ask Mr. One for help. Do you intend to break it open? Yeah, it'll be faster than looking around for the key. And... That. I was wondering about it as well. That thing on the desk. Some sort of control panel? Whatever it is, it's suspicious. I believe it is a control panel for some machine, yes. And spread out next to it is... The dome. The dome. Maybe the control... Maybe this controls the dome, or the hatch we saw earlier. One did postulate that it would be in there, would be in here. 
Locked, of course. I doubt we'll find it easy to break that one. Yeah. All the same, we have some actual hope of getting out of out of here now. Even just even just that is comforting. Let's let's go talk to Mr. One. I think we've exhausted the possibilities of this room for the time being. Let us go. We'll take the pod pog statue with us. <laughs> Mm. Mr. Kawara. Uh, yes, sir? <laughs> I see you have yet to lose your open distrust of me. Well, two people have been poisoned, and we have evidence that the perpetrator went into the infirmary. It's sort of hard not to doubt you a little, sir. Not too hard for Sakia, though. How honest of you. Did you find it yet? The thing you forgot about. The thing I forgot about? He must be talking about what he said earlier. No, I'm not convinced you're not just trying to mess with me. Are you sure you're not trying to keep me from finding something you thought nobody knew about? How cruel, Mr. Kawara. Your boundless suspicion wounds me. He doesn't look wounded at all. More like amused. I have no reason to regret your solving this mystery, Mr. Kawara. Let me give you another hint. There are no riddles here. If you want to find the truth, you need only keep going. You need not use your brain at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> no riddles? Wait, no, that... You mean to say that you know the truth already? Well, who knows? If you do, <laughs> tell me. I told you, you need only keep going. Everything here is a plot that was laid out just for you, after all. Just for me? How long must you babble, Kawara? Come. Sorry. I take it this is the challenge, Doctor. Hmm. You may take it that way if you so wish. I swear I'll find the truth. And if I find that you killed Brigitte... <laughs> oh, do I look forward to seeing what sort of answer you find. Was Saki just standing there, listening to all this, and like, didn't think, on, yep, this is normal. What do you mean, you know? You know? <laughs> I assume he's, like, standing down the hallway, like, come, Kawara, we must away. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Like, Yuya comes in, I've been here, too. You, you, you're, tell us, you know? <laughs> Uh, Mr. One? You two again. What is it? We explained that- we explained to Mr. One what we found in the headmaster's office. The plot thickens, I see. We think this file may be connected to the mystery. Can you unlock it? Or break it. Let me see. Hmm. This will be rather troublesome. It's just a lock, right? Forcing it will result in spontaneous combustion. What? Why would they put something like that on a bunch of ordinary documents? Perhaps one of these documents are not ordinary. All the same. I've dealt with similar things in the past. It'll take some time, but I believe I can open it. So, diffusing bombs fall under maintenance operations? Do not forget, I'm not just a maintenance worker. I am a bright and massive maintenance worker. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> he pours like a bunch of bleach solution all over the top of it. He's like, I got this, guys. <laughs> so, maintenance work in Japan requires a number of skills. I'm impressed. Um, I think Mr. One is the only... Oh, right. Uh, can we ask you one more thing? You may. We found a control panel that looks like it's for the dome as well, but it's locked. It seems to require a password. A password? Hmm. Ask Mr. Sakazaki for help. Yuya? He's a master of unauthorized access. So that wretched mongrel has lowered himself to crime. I never knew he could... Sakya, just let it go. We need his help here. I shall take care of this folder, then. I can't say for sure, but it should be done by the time you and Mr. Sakazaki get back. All right, thanks. 
We should probably write all this down since we're here. I wrote it down Done. really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Yuya right now? Either in the lab or possibly gallivanting around like a nincompoop. What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> this would have been a lot easier if we could use our phones, but we can't. Off to the lab. Little bird feet. Bird feet. Here we are. I wonder if he's still in there. As we turn the corner, body was discovered. Again? No. Oh! Oh! The scarecrow man blocks our path. <sighs> oh, the. Sakia, run! Uh, uh, Don't order me around, Feral. <laughs> Mr. Krabs <laughs> noise. <laughs> oh. Oh. We lost it. All right? Oh, shoot. Saki and I must have run in different directions. I hope he's okay. Of all the times to run into that thing again. If it's... If it's lying in wait for us like that, we can't rely on the noise of the arm to find it. And the dome makes the building dark, so it's hard to, for us to see. I'd better be careful. D do birds not have night vision? W where is it now? I want to head straight to the lab, but... Huh? Did I just hear a ghost or something? Oh! <laughs> what are you doing here all alone? Oh. Did you see the wall outside? There's been an emergency and everybody's supposed to gather in the gym. You should... Your... Kawari Ryuta? Uh... He knows my name? Have I met him somewhere before? Yeah, uh... Have we met before? The unfamiliar morning dove shakes his head. This is the first time we've spoken. Then why do you know my name? She told me. Miss McGee. Pursuit? Oh, right. Didn't she say she made a friend with a freshman who's in the library all the time? Can I ask her name? Uh, Fujishiro. Nagaki. You were friends with Pursuit then? Um, did you maybe see her after school yesterday? Was she acting strange at all, or... Oh. Shoot. He didn't hear the emergency broadcast, so he probably doesn't know what happened to her either. Um, she's... Don't worry about it. You don't have to explain again. Uh-huh. I already know. Oh. She washed up here, spoke to me. Which can only mean one thing. She's dead. He doesn't exactly make things easy to understand. Almost as if he's talking to himself and doesn't care whether or not his inter... In interlocutor... The person he's talking to knows what he means. <laughs> <laughs> She washed up here, do you mean yesterday? If you know anything about what happened to her last night, please tell me. I do not. Miss McGee did not come to the library until uh, after school yesterday. Uh, so she didn't come here either, thanks. <clears throat> I need to hurry back to the chemistry lab and you should probably get out of here too. There's a suspicious individual in the building. It was not yesterday that Miss McGee came here. It was just now. What? Pursuit's ghost rolls into the library. Nageki, you're never gonna believe this shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's a scarecrow running about the hall. Also, Chad has some interesting points. Uh, birds cannot see in the dark um, unless they uh... are nocturnal birds. And also, the reason why Ryota keeps bringing up writing things down is because in the original version of the game, you could only save in uh, one's uh... office. But now you can save anywhere. Okay. He's gone. The morning dove who just spoke to me has disappeared. Did he go to the gym? I hope so. I don't really want to consider the possibility, but maybe Saki is right. Maybe I am going crazy. And these are still Ryota's thoughts. I have to last long enough to find the killer. The killer. My I like that his impression. <laughs> I like that his impression is like, he's gone. Where did he go? The gym. Okay. 
It just dawned on me that he means the school gym. So, like, never mind. Did, <laughs> not... <laughs> Did he go to fitness? Planet Fitness? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was looking pretty jacked. <laughs> he was looking yoked, as you would say. Oh, my God. You're late, Kawara. Blasted feral doves. Sakia, you're safe, even though I shouldn't care, because you've been racist to me many times today. <laughs> I know, right? He sucks. He was pretty worried about you, Ryoka. He couldn't sit still the entire time you were gone. Oh, he cares. Silence, mongrel! Uh, he cares about you. Thanks. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry for worrying you, Sakia. <laughs> anyway. Saki, you filled me on your adventures. You want me to hack into the headmaster's computer? C can you do it? Naturally, just leave it to me. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I love when chat just screams racism in chat. <laughs> let's go! <laughs> oh, welcome back, Kawara. Sir, about this control panel. Well, what about it? Can't you tell? It must be controls for that dome. Mm, right. I suppose it could be. It's locked, though. We were going to have to, to have y Yuya get into it for us, but... That's illegal, you know. Uh, so is murder. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Don't you comprehend our situation? No, that's Sakia. Oh, fuck. It's fine. <laughs> I never said you shouldn't do it. We don't have much choice, do we? Go on. Thank you, sir. Well, having Mr. Nanaki's approval certainly helps my conscience. Let's see. He he wakes up the computer, and before I, long, I have some connection issues. So if I lag behind or like interrupt, I, I apologize. It's good. Uh, he wakes up. He wakes up the computer, and long uh, before long, I have no idea what he what he's doing to it. Wow. I wonder where he learned to do that. I open up Microsoft Word. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine he spends his spare time stealing illegal X-rated videos off of the intertubes. X-rated videos can teach someone how to do this sort of thing? Maybe I should watch more of them. <laughs> no, <laughs> Ryota! No, no, no! no. <laughs> That's what it is. There we go. Now then. There. We're logged in as the administrator now. Woohoo! Yippee! <laughs> Yahoo! Huh. This only has an open and close button. I guess that's pretty straightforward. Well, I'll leave the rest of this to you two. If we press this button, either the dome itself or the hatch will probably open. But with the headmaster dead, we have no way of knowing what's happening outside. If, if there really is some terrible disaster, then opening the dome could put every birdie in danger. I wonder if Mom's at home. I hope she's okay. I'm beaming these thoughts into your head, Ryota. <laughs> no! Le Akira! It's really Believe weird. Me. Sometimes it's Ryota, sometimes it feels like <laughs> it's like an omnipresence. <laughs> Leave me alone! Please you! No! <laughs> There's a dangerous individual wandering the premises, and the bird in charge is dead. I think it would be wise to open the dome now. That's true. We did get Yuya to help and everything. We should. Oh. oh. I'm, I'm gonna... Do? I'm... I wish I could save. I'm gonna... I... I have no help for you here. I assume if we even... None of these choices matter, technically. I'm gonna... Mm -hmm. fu fuck it. I'm gonna do open they? it. I don't know. Uh, uh, fuck it. Let's we ball. Let's we ball. open it. Uh, we need to get everyone out of here. Agreed. We can confirm once and for all that talk of the disaster was nonsense. Uh, some the person who's saying save. I can't save when there's a choice up. So yeah, you can only uh. save just before choices. Escape hatch opened. I guess it's not for the whole dome. No matter, all we need to do is get a look outside. Guess we got the bad ending? Look, oh, chat. No. I'm gonna save right here, Justin. Chat case. could be trolling us, too. Yeah. 
just having the hatch open is better anyways in case there really is a storm or something out there i i see someone in chat saying if you don't sakia presses the button instead we are chill okay oh, it, okay the story is the same don't worry about it okay the escape hatch will close automatically in 15 minutes to reopen it please reboot and try again it closes on its own that seems like a risky design 15 minutes is enough to get everybody out let's go out and take a look before it closes we're going outside again mr nanaki if it's safe we'll organize an evacuation at the gym hmm that's a good idea maybe i'll come too sakazaki doctor what will you do hmm well, I don't have any more business here. I shall return to the lab. Leaving Pursuit alone with another man would hardly be gentlemanly, so I'll go with the doctor. Well then, let's go, Kawara, Shiragane. Very well. Yup. <laughs> yup. Yup. <laughs> yup. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Where's the hatch? A few eyes or pickled onions, right there. What does that mean? <laughs> Such a specific insult. The hatch, high above the ground, is open. Looks like the control panel worked. Hmm, I think everybody, sh everybody should be able to fly up to that. It's a little narrow, so we'll have to go two or three at a time. Outside. Yeah, it's perfectly clear. We can only see the sky, but there is no storm or gale. Nothing but the same calm autumn sky from this morning. No earthquake and no typhoon. And the announcement video was fake. I think it's safest to assume that the whole thing was a lie. I am curious about the state of things out there, but the door closes on its own, so we had best think carefully before going out. We can't see the city at all. We don't really know what's going on out there, if anything. But we save just in case like there's a choice to go yeah, out. Yeah, well, we well, already we already have, I believe. But I'll save okay. again just to just to ease worries. But if there <laughs> really is no disaster and this is some plot surrounding McGee's death and that we need more clues, I'll go. Are you sure? We have no guarantee that it's safe out there. It isn't safe here either. Look, the hatch is open. It is. It is. We can go home! <laughs> Nubby. Nubby just rejoined the call. Yeah. Mayhaps Nubby cannot hear us. Yeah. Oh, no. no. It's fine. Uh, I'll, Vixen, I'll read Kazaki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're supposed to be in the gym. You shouldn't go out yet. Like, heck, are we sticking around with nothing but that bogus explanation from earlier? I can't wait any longer. I'm going out. Oh. Wait, come back. Come back at once. We don't know if it's safe out there yet. Yeah. Were they shot? <laughs> huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> I shrug. We, we have to go help him. Calm down, Kawara. You'll only get yourself shot as well. But... What happened? Uh, two There's... students flew out of the hatch and they got shot. As hmm. if to laugh at my shock, the hatch gives an unpleasant rumble and swings shut. He was shot. As soon as he went out, someone on the other side shot him. It's not a natural disaster. If we go out, we get killed. But why? And that's what we discovered. We were in duck hunt the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower some of the settings on the stream uh, to my, hopefully... My internet is still not being happy. I need clarification. Did did my character die? Or no, did no, 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 no. I can't some tell from what I saw. Gym, <laughs> some extra students that were in the gym saw the hatch opened, and they both flew out, and they got shot. Thinking Your character is guys. fine. Yeah. Two Horse random class. students were shot. I know. I, I know, right? I know. Yeah. 
for Jute's corpse delivered without warning throughout the school. The students gathered without explanation in the One gym. One of my lines, and I couldn't read it. And then... <laughs> mm -hmm. The headmaster appearing on screen to announce an emergency situation and then turning up dead. The gray dome enclosing the school. The scarecrow appearing for no apparent reason in the sealed-off building. And now, the students shot dead if they try to escape. What? What is going on outside? How humiliating. It would seem that things are worse than we ever expected. If only I'd stopped him. There was nothing we could do that we didn't, Kawara. The last thing you need to do now is start mourning what we've lost. You don't intend to give up now. You don't intend to give up now, do you? No, I'm fine. We have to keep going. I think we should keep quiet about this to everyone in the gym. We can explain to them after we've figured out what to do. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. Our one champ... Our, one, our champ. one champ. One champ. One our champ. Our champ. Our one chance at escape turns out to be a one-way ticket across the sticks. There's nothing we can do but search for clues inside the school. I know, right? I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> so where shall we go next? I know, right? Let's go back to the maintenance <laughs> office. Mr. One might have that file open. Very well. We return to the maintenance office and explain what outside oh uh, explain what outside to Mr. One. I see. Seems that our worst predictions have come to bear their evil fruit. Our worst predictions? Do you know something? We can predict things without knowing that they will happen. Confusing predictions with reality can be fatal, young one. I've been wondering for a while. Um, Mr. One, are you really just a maintenance worker? Yeah. <laughs> An innocent student was shot. I suppose it's time I introduce myself properly. What the? I am Leon J.B., one of the great soaring wings of the Dove Party. S-Class agent, pleased to meet you. The, the Dove Party? He looks like a cockatiel to me. This music. <laughs> I've heard of the Dove Party, the secret organization that advocates living in harmony that advocates living in harmony with humans, correct? You are well informed, young one. Huh, it is a noble's duty to be well informed. I feel like I must have missed something. There are two schools of thought driving the politics of today. The Dove Party, who believe we should live peacefully with humans, and the Hawk Party, who believe we should exterminate them. Exterminate? But I thought the wars with humans were over. Do you really believe that everyone just decided to live happily together? I mean, maybe. Sadly, that is not how the world works. There are still many disagreements between birds and humans, and so the hawks and the doves have come to the fore. We've discovered hawk activity at this school, and so I was dispatched to investigate. And what we feared would happen has happened. Oh, wait a minute. Are you saying the Hawk Party has something to do with St. Pigeonations? It seems hard to believe. This school is known for its tolerant policies towards humans. It even welcomed McGee as a representative. I cannot confirm or deny it, but there have been a growing number of Hawk operatives attached to the school. The Headmaster's secret file will probably answer some of your questions. Oh, you got it open? Thank you. That should speed things up a little. Let's look inside. Here's where answers happen. The human representative. To help humans and birds advance hand and feather towards a bright and happy future, we have decided to enroll one human in the school starting in the year 2187. They will be the human representative. The pandemic has long since ended, 
but we must nonetheless be cautious of the risk of infection with Sumaterra influenza when making our selection. We will pick a strong, healthy, 15-year-old human who displays hereditary resistance to Sumaterra influenza. The human representative. This is talking about McGee, no matter how you look at it. 2187, that's when we enrolled here. Come on, let's read the rest. The chosen individual <clears throat> will be a symbol of human concession, to wit, a hostage for birds. If the representative is to die in the school, the entire campus will be sealed off, and all the birds inside will be given to the humans as prisoners. The seal will be lifted 12 hours after the death is confirmed, and the birds will be delivered to the humans. The school will be declared an extraterritorial zone, and avian protests of any human reprisal will not be tolerated. If Pursuit is to die, so her death was connected to the dome after all, and... The important part is this final gruesome exchange. Basically, if anything happens to Pursuit, the representative of humanity, then the entire school takes the blame. So it would seem. They trapped us in here to give the humans time to arm themselves. The dome will open in a few hours, but what awaits us outside is a horde of bloodthirsty monkeys. How humorous. It's not humorous at all. So this was the true face of her enrollment here. I rather think that this whole thing was arranged to widen the, di the divide between humans and birds from the start. Indeed, things here go deeper than we ever realized. As you know, the school's public stance is very liberal on the human cohabitation issue. In fact, the school's principal financier, the Ichijo Group, has been heavily involved in human charities for the past 20 years. I have investigated the history of St. Pigeonations extensively, and I can confirm that it was founded with the ideal, with the ideal of coexistence with humans. But the Hawk Party has been sending agents here for a long time, eating away at the system like a dreadful virus. We have had information about this document for some time. It is real. It's kind of hard to take all this in at once, just to make sure. For 12 hours, the dome will remain closed. During that time, humans will gather to take revenge, and then... When the dome opens, they'll kill every bird in sight. And with that, another era of war between birds and humans will begin. It's just like Chicken Run. That <laughs> is just like, we, we circled back around, there's a bunch of people outside, I it's just it. Chicken Run. <laughs> that student who got shot when I he flew out of the hatch. <laughs> chicken Run, trigger happy havoc. <laughs> <laughs> there are already humans waiting outside, out there with guns. It was discovered this morning and the dome was raised soon after. So the time is not so the time is not from when she died but from when her death is confirmed. The evacuation was about two hours ago. Yeah, it was right at the start of the second period, around ten o'clock. And so we have until ten PM before we are all killed. You seem awfully calm, Sakya, even after watching some birdie get shot. Remain calm, Kawara. Do nothing but worry about what's gone wrong, and you'll be next. I do not know who did this, but they will rue the day they decided to tangle with LaBelle. What time is it, Mr. Leon? Just past two. We only have eight hours, then. Eight hours. We have to find an escape route in eight hours or we'll be killed. But if we go outside, we'll be killed anyways. Just getting outside isn't enough. There has to be another way. Mm -hmm. My dictionary does not contain the word impossible. We shall continue the investigation. You're very decisive, Sakya. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Don't flatter me, Koara. I'm not. I I mean it. Aww. They, they are, are friends. friends. They are friends. <laughs> we found the connection between Prajut's death and the dome. There is clearly some sort of intrigue behind it all. I don't want to die without knowing the truth. I forgot how engaging you this guys are gonna have to. Is. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna have to fill me in later because my internet like was having a trouble right when the dis like explanation was happening. So I got like a infomercial 
side effects of allergy pills <laughs> whatever it was. Pretty much, like, the very short version of it. Uh, Prasut was brought... Prasut was brought to the school as a representative. If she were to die, then everyone at the school is to blame, and now the dome has gone over, and as soon as the dome is lifted, everyone dies. So they have to find a way out now. Mm -hmm. We'd better go now. We have solved this before we run out of time. You are a promising lad. If I were to give you a piece of advice, well, don't miss the forest for the trees. Don't miss the forest for the trees. Ah, uh, Sakia, there's one more file. Um, Operation Hatoful? That's uh, it! That's the title! <laughs> roll credits. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. That's what it says on here. The bottom half is turn up, torn off. We can't read it at any rate. I don't feel like it has anything hopeful anyways. That's an awfully friendly name for a confidential document, though. Stupid Japanese. Look, it's spelled hurtful. Whoa, it is. I thought hotoful just meant heartful. I suspect we will find many of the things to come quite hurtful. Uh, right. It was probably something important given that it was in the lock file. Indeed. I hadn't heard of this hurtful thing before, but you might want to look into the school's history. The, the, oh. the school's history? At any, at any rate, the headmaster must have known what would happen after McGee died. The escape hatch was no doubt put in place to allow him alone to escape. Oh, Which... I checked this. I checked. The, somebody in chat said this, and I, I wanted to make sure to check it beforehand. But Hato actually means pigeon. Yes, mm -hmm. Hato means pigeon, dove, and cuckoo bird. Yay. Yeah. yeah. Which so means cool. that maybe he had a guarantee, a guarantee of safety for himself. I don't want to suspect an elder, but it does look that way. But fuck the doctor, who's also my elder. <laughs> Everything going on in here is connected. We may well find something of use in the records. Right. Let's go look at the school's documents then. I'm not the only dove agent in this school. I'm sure the other will help you as well. Good luck, gentlemen. Gee, I wonder who the other one is. <laughs> it's time it's to the doctor. <laughs> yeah. It's time to go look for more more clues. Maybe we should write down write in our notes first. I'm done. Mr. Leon said to investigate the school's history, but how? Where do we look? The headmaster's office or the library, perhaps. We already looked through the headmaster's office. Did you see anything like school records or anything? I would have thought they would be there, but I don't recall seeing any. The library it is, then. And the mystery we have left to solve is... A blood-stained str stranger Oko saw in the infirmary yesterday. Exactly. What with the headmaster dying, an army of gun-toting bipeds showing up to turn us into jer into jerk chicken, and it all—I almost forgot about it. You're also a biped, Rios. <laughs> uh, biped just means you walk on two legs. It doesn't mean human. In the scarecrow, we still don't know where it came from. He appeared along with the dome, and I, and no doubt is connected to it. If we continue to investigate it, I'm sure his origins will become clear. And McGee's gruesome end is the best clue we have. For now, we shouldn't forget the puppet and chase. For now, we should forget the puppet and chase after. Bloodstained birds. Yeah. The bloodstained bird. Right. That's that decided then. We'll go to the library to read up on the school's history, and we'll look for that bird. It probably doesn't matter, but which should we do first? Go to the library! Oh, library. I, want, I want Sakuya to see a ghost so badly. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Angel. Where's Angel? He'll show up, I'm the, sure. The library, I wonder if Nageki's getting shredded yet. <laughs> Nageki? Who? I met him yeah. in the library earlier. <laughs> I met him in the library. He benches 400. He's insane. 
<laughs> he stayed behind. An unusual, dense individual, to be sure. The library's a little ways away from here. We spent some time jogging through the hallways. I've been trying to ignore it, but the dim light makes the library even creepier than the rest of the school. Getting hung up over little things in a time like this is a sign of weak nerves. R really? Well then, where are the school documents? Um, probably not where an just anybody can look at them. They're probably somewhere in the back then. How dull. Come, let us search. Right. Books, books, and none of them what we're looking for. I was hoping it would be in this corner, but apparently not. And here, a line of incredibly dusty encyclo... Huh? That's odd. There are nine of them. Volume 6 is missing. That's weird. Did somebody misfile them? Anyway, St. Pigeonation's history. It's not back here with the large volume, so maybe it's a smaller book? It's not here. Huh? You never left? Is that a problem? Well, not really, but I told you earlier there's an emergency going on. Hmm. Hmm? I can't tell if he doesn't realize what's going on or just doesn't care. The records. Huh? Keep looking there and you'll find and you'll never find them. So you know where they are? Yep. Well, since he's here even now, I imagine he's basically lives here lives in here. So it's hardly surprising that he knows where to find things. I don't have much time. Could you tell me where to find them? Hmm. By request. Request? You don't know what that is? He gazes at me with eyes like black holes of cosmic disdain. You can only get at them by request. They're not kept out here. Then where are they kept? Behind the reception desk in the back. It's not locked, so go right ahead. There are a number of bookshelves behind the desk, it's true. Thank you, Nageki, really. Don't worry about it. You've been mumbling to yourself ever since we split up. Please, try to remain in charge of your faculties, Koara. Oh, sorry, I was talking to him. Talking? To the bookshelves. Surely there are better uses for your energy. No, Nageki was telling me where to find the... There's no one else here. Cease this bizarre monodrama. Huh. Um. Oh. Oh, they're both ghosts. <laughs> Sorry, has been a ghost too. What is he talking about? Nageki is standing right next to me. It's not like he's behind a shelf or something. You're so right. I was worried he was a figment of my imagination for a minute, but he just told me where to find the records. But Sakuya, let's find out. Can I ask you something, Nageki? Yeah? Are you... a hallucination? Am I high as fuck right now? <laughs> there is a gas leak. Hmm. If I was, that would mean you're asking a hallucination whether or not he's a hallucination. Yeah, that's right. It does seem a little weird. Does it matter? Maybe I am, or maybe I'm not. That doesn't answer anything. Sakio watching right now? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just told you, so stop speaking. This is worrying me now. <laughs> are, you, are you okay, man? Do you need to lie down? <laughs> this doesn't usually happen. I've never been able to talk to a bird I've just met before. I think I'll remember everything soon. What about you? Have you found the thing you've forgotten yet? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Nageki, do you know something about that? Huh. He disappeared. The thing I forgot. That's exactly what the doctor said, too. Why did Nageki know about that? It isn't just a coincidence, was it? I'm forgetting something important about all this. I don't think I can dismiss him as just a hallucination. Maybe the doctor's a ghost, too. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, of the things Nageki could have said to, like, prove that he's not a hallucination, that was not one of the, yeah. <laughs> was the least assuring thing he probably could have said. Request only books. 
this shelf? Looks like it. I see a lot of the same uh, books as were in the headmaster's office. Chrono Chronology of St. Pigeonations. This? Let's see. 2180. Founding of the school. Same year. Ichijo Kitsugu inaugurated as headmaster. 2180? Much more recently than I thought. Only eight years. I hadn't known either. Aside from that, it's all transfer student records and sports scores. Is there really a clue in here? Wait, Sakya, look at this. 2183. Medical center shut down due to fire. Medical center? Does this school have something like that? I don't think so. There was no mention of it in the student guide. I suppose it was never reopened. Does it say anything else? Um, right here. Damage from the fire. Huh? The book presents us with many uh, with a new mystery, as if to taunt our inability to hold all those we already have. A new sort of mystery. 2183. Medical center shut down due to fire. Freshman Fujishiro Nageki died in the basement where the fire started. Didn't I just hear that name? The exact same, but that's... Nageki died five years ago? Then what is Nageki I kept... What is the Nageki I kept meeting today? He didn't deny that he was an hallucination. Sakya couldn't see him, which means he's ghost don't say such dreadful things it's unscientific do this best but bullying evidence we're betting our lives on his on this search you know i won't have any occult rubbish brought into it but i think he knew something if he is the same bird then he could be the key to solving this mystery so you intend to rely on some invisible ghost there are limits kawara I mean, he helped us find the book. It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> I spent some time looking for him in the library, but couldn't find him. He's always found me rather than the other way around. I'll just have to wait for him to show up again. The bloodstained bird. Huh. Do you have an idea? None at all. I feel like I should. <laughs> it's not something I'd encounter normally, but for some reason, I look at the windows like they're about to bust open for some reason. <laughs> Don't I know some birdie like that? Vague as always. We do have a time limit here. We must not fall behind. I know, I know. If I remember what it is, I'll say it right away. Maybe Yuya was still in there? Let's go ask him. He did say he was there until he returned home. If anyone went in, he should have seen them. However, he said he saw nothing out of the ordinary. If what said is true, he was lying. Which would mean the doctor was lying too. Hmm. Huh. Very well. <laughs> I shall discard my biases this one moment. Yuya! Salutations! How goes the investigation? Well, just who do you think I am? Yeah, yeah. Unlike me, you're a very capable bird. Yuya, we wanted to ask you something. Oh? I'll answer anything that doesn't violate my privacy, so ask away. Did you really not see anything yesterday after school? I'm not sure what you mean. I thought the doctor and I already verified each other's innocence. We were in the infirmary the entire time. And neither of us are sus, so you know and you can neither. trust us. We're I like so unsuspicious. I don't know both of us together. <laughs> mm, I don't know, but that prosciutto girl definitely vented. Um, I I kill you. <laughs> uh, we talked to San earlier. He said that he saw a bloodstained stranger going into the infirmary yesterday. Did you see anything like that? Um, nope. Sorry. Could you be the bloodstained bird yourself? Yikes, no! As you can see, I'm not hurt anywhere at all. Besides, he said he saw this bird going into the infirmary. 
going to the infirmary, not going into the infirmary, right? Yeah, he did. Anyway, I didn't see anything. There's not much more I can say. Right, Doctor? Yes, that's right. No one came yesterday. I don't think we'll find anything more here, Sakia. Let's move on. Indeed. Did those two really not see anything yesterday? If there had been some bloodstained stranger, then... That would mean that... Yuya and the doctor are hiding something. No way. Yuya Could and be. the doctor? Never! <laughs> never! The two most well, unsuspicious people. <laughs> well, uh... We did get uh, the, the little blue guy here, but he's not bloodstained. He's just got, like, a thing on his chest. <laughs> yeah, that's just how he looks, dude. <laughs> where do... Where do we... Hmm, the medical center seems like a good place to go now. Indeed. Where is it? That's the problem. I'd never heard of it before, either. It sounds rather large. I wouldn't expect it to be that hard to find. The record book said the fire broke out in the basement. If the building was burnt to the ground, it would have said so. It should still be here, then. Assuming it wasn't demolished. Are there any unusual buildings on the campus? Unused buildings? Uh, oh, yeah. That old hall? Old Hall? Uh, that's what we call it. It's, uh, by the back gate, but it's not used for, uh, what's wrong? The school hasn't ever been- the school hasn't even been around for ten years. What reason does it have for having an Old Hall? Uh, <laughs> now enough. that you mention it, that is kind of strange. Come, guide me there. Ding, 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 ding. I'm suddenly enthralled. Uh, this is it doesn't look like a medical center. It's pretty much the same as the main building, yeah. Looks like the door's locked. And we shall break it down. You're starting to sound like a delinquent, Sakia. What? What did you say? What did I say? D don't worry about it. We'd probably be suspended for breaking in here, but this is an emergency. We don't have a choice. Yeah. You know that sound effect. <coughs> it's awfully dusty in here. It has been left unused for five years. Huh. It appears they didn't leave much behind. But they used the same CG for the hallway as the main <laughs> building. <laughs> Everything's empty. I wonder if they cleared everything out when they, were, they sealed the building. This all looks pretty much the same as the main building to save assets. <laughs> ah. Did we come here for nothing? Let's look around a little more. Look, this door has a sign on it. I guess it was the reference room. I don't relish the prospect of wandering about the mausoleum of schoolrooms, but very well. Also, the person in chat who's like, this has this got drama CDs? This is a multimedia franchise? There's also oh, yeah. a manga. There's also a manga. There's also and there's, so much merch. There's merch. Oh, there's so much merch being sold right now still. Oh this... my gosh. There's more merch than me and Len me, me and Vixen like even knew at all. Like, there's like tons we, more. Before mm -hmm. we started last stream uh, that we did for this, we looked at the merch page and there was like tons more merch than we remembered there being even when the game came out. It's crazy. This game was well liked. Mm -hmm. it's, even it's a good game. It's even dustier in here. Shelves are marked with dates. Perhaps they once held medical records? There's nothing left now, though. And... Operation Hotterful. Huh? Among the row of dates, sure enough, there was a shelf labeled Operation Hotterful. Empty as well. It would have been asking too much to hope to find anything anyway. Operation Hotterful. I wonder what that is. Who knows? Something put in place along with the human representative business, so no doubt it was nothing good. Is Operation Hotoful connected to this medical center? What if it's the source of the mystery we're tangled in now? My head hurts. The only things left are... Huh. Archaic medical journals. Huh? It's the encyclopedia. An odd place to keep one. 
Wait, look at the volume numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. What? Does this unpleasant arrangement hold some meaning? I saw them in, uh, like this in the library, too. A bunch of old encyclopedias. Yeah. I can can I look at these for a bit? Mm, do as you please. The ones in the library had the same binding, and in the place of the volume in place of volume nine, there's an extra copy of volume six. Maybe that's nine upside down. Look, this copy of the <laughs> this copy of the volume <laughs> six has a library sticker on it. Perhaps it came from the library then. Someone must have brought it here when the medical center was still open. They probably switched it with volume nine. An unpleasant piece of mischief, to be sure. Yeah. The volumes all seem uh, seem as they should. There probably isn't any uh, anything in the extra copy of Volume 9, but maybe we should go see if it came from here. Uh, when we get back to the main building, let's go check the library. <laughs> Provided it isn't a mere waste of time. Saki is sleepy. To the person in chat saying, holy shit, I can get it on Hell Poncho. You sure can. <laughs> <laughs> Chat's mind being blown over the prospect of merch. We leave the reference room and we continue our investigation of the medical center. We search the entire first floor and have yet to find out, find what we're after. The stairs into the basement. Apparently the fire that closed the building five years ago started in the basement, but we haven't found it yet. The elevator... Uh, the elevator doesn't have a button for it either. How do we get in? Perhaps we can't anymore. Huh? Look at that wall. The wall. It looks like a normal concrete wall to me. It actually looks a lot like the dome we saw outside. <laughs> Don't you see it? Stupid peasant. What about it? Think back to the building's exterior and the second floor. There shouldn't be a wall here. It's small, but there's a space behind here. It must have been sealed off after the fire. Now that he mentions it, this wall is slight, a slightly different color than the rest, which would make sense if it had been put in later. So the stairs are beyond here? It seems likely. Isn't this a bit much for cleanup of some fire? We probably won't be able to break this down. If we can't get in there, I doubt we'll find anything more of use in here. At least we found the, that thing from the headmaster's documents again. Yeah, let's head back. <gasps> huh? Did you hear something? Um, yes. Someone else just broke in here. This could be bad. We're in a, we're in a dead end with a concrete with concrete all around. We need to get to somewhere with a window fast. Run. Yes. No idea who this is. It's probably Ungel. Ah, oh, it's here. Oh, oh, wait. Calm down, Kawara. It's small. <laughs> it's definitely Ungel. Tiny. 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 <laughs> so it is too small to be the Scarecrow. Huh? Aren't you from 2-2? Two, two? I am the Crimson Fallen Angel. <laughs> on hell. I, I knew it. The, <laughs> the, oh, man yes. <laughs> the manga club boy from the class next door. He's famous around the school for being a nutcase. But what is he doing in here? I think I'm going to have a headache. Textoris Melodia Furnaris! Uh, who, me? Good for you, Quara. He came all this way to give you a title. It's not good at all. Nothing but trouble will come from it. I don't know why you came here, Angel, but it's dangerous. We're supposed to be in the gym with every everybody else, so come on, let's go back. I am not allowed to rest. Not until I've fulfilled my duty. In accordance with the Pact of Old, I must seal you here now, Textoris Melodoria Funeris Undertaker! Undertaker? If that's it, then, um... So, the time has come at last. I will not be stopped now, Crimson Angel of Dudeca. Come. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, 
You Angel. better believe it's a fucking RPG now. <laughs> oh Angel, Crimson Fallen Angel has appeared. Angel uses Dark Void Shockwave. Rita takes 24 damage. Rita's turn. Uh, what do you do? Uh, de music? Death. Music? What do you do? You're in a boss fight. Deathbringer. Rita uses Deathbringer. <laughs> Angel takes He's 60 just, damage. Like, standing there like, what the fuck are you two doing? <laughs> Cease, oh wow, cease this jack acting, you wretched imbeciles! Suck you, your attacks! Rita takes 260 oh, damage! Rita yes. returns to his senses. Angel takes 295 damage. Angel is shaken. Whoa! <laughs> Did we really just do the like straight man routine, uh, bonking them both on the head? Uh, uh, <laughs> you actually hit me, that's fucked up! Uh, bro, we were role playing. I am shocked, Koa, to think you would even go along with that farce. He disrupted my territory. I got carried away by Angel before I even noticed. Influence the very reality of his surroundings is a, a frightful power indeed. You, Lazon, you, Lazon, what did you come here to do? After what you just did, I think you may be our prime suspect. I, I came here to do but one thing. I must follow the demon spores. A whole new variety of what the heck you are talking about. Perhaps you could explain in normal Japanese? Your dialect is somewhat opaque. Stop being racist. <laughs> I don't think it's just his dialect, Sakia. The end is calling me. That is all. That is the cross I must bear. He stares off into space as if gazing at something far away. Maybe that basically means that he's a thrill seeker? So you are a moth allured by a candle's light, Lazon? No! I am stained in crimson clad in night! Unforgiven! Blood seal! My eternal blood seal calls me to purgatory! Ah, uh, more crazy talk. It's not exactly a blood seal that, that bloodstained uh, chest is just the way Bleeding Heart's plumage looks. Oh. What is it, Koara? Bloodstained chest? Uh, Sakia, do you think maybe the Bloodstained Stranger Sandsaw was... Uh, Angel, were you, where were you yesterday after school? What were you doing? Battling minor demons of Baal. They're following the demon spores. Could you rephrase that? Rufa, the Tree of Blight, called out to me. He's asking you to say it using words we understand. Hallowed Magician of White, your anger now. It is the power of the demon spores. I think it's the power of you, Angel. But I must compromise. I was in the place the ignorant men refer to as the infirmary. I knew it. I think we need to talk to you. Come. And so we left the medical center, yeah. Sakia dragging Angel behind him. Get off of me! <laughs> what a crew. Get over here. Cuckoo, this is the one. This is the bloodstained stranger Okusen saw. Uh, that's it then. All the boys are together. <laughs> the homeboys. <laughs> we need to know what you did yesterday. Did you go into the infirmary? If I could, I would have, but only the Chosen One can stop the demon spores. In other words, he didn't. Useless! The gate was sealed with the power of darkness! However, Edelblau did venture within. Edelblau? Who's that? Explain it in terms and known to sane individuals, please. The Apostle of the Blue Sky, Edelblau. She also goes by Nagi Prajut. Prajut went into... What? My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Prajut was in the infirmary yesterday after school. But the doctor and Yuya said that no one came and nothing happened. They're lying. 
fourth class. Doc, the two most suspicious and... people in the game lied. Oh, Who could have guessed? <laughs> Who could have thunk it? <laughs> Who could have seen this coming? Who'd have thunk? Never thought we'd get answers out of this boy. You are different from those peasants, Sakuya. You were chosen from the day you were born. What? You must remain conscious of this. That's Sakuya. Yes, fa yes, father. We are the chosen ones. It is our duty to guide the foolish common folk. Yes, father. Look at them crawling in the mud. There is no value in their lives. Were it not for our compassion, they would die as miserably as they live. I don't like this! <laughs> yes, father. Their very blood is tainted. Their world is not yours. You must never speak with them again. Do you understand? Yes, father. To Japan? Yes. You'll be staying there for some time. Arrangements have already been made for your education. Remember, you must such as to bring... Oh. <laughs> you must such as. To bring honor to our family, Sakuya. Yes, father. Also, Dr. Iwamine is in residence at the institution you will be attending. He is a prestigious doctor. It would not be exaggerating to say that our current glory is thanks in parts to him. Do not disrespect him. Yes, father. Oh. Sakuya backstory. Character arc, maybe? Mm -hmm. Angel, uh, Angel saw Pajut going into the infirmary yesterday, and then the door was locked. The doctor and Yuya must have seen her. What, what happened in there? They must both be lying. Hmm. Yuya has been helping us uh, all this time, and I don't want to suspect him, but he's clearly been hiding the truth. Could Yuya be covering for the doctor? We don't know that for sure. The Mongol could be lying to cast doubt on Dr. Iwamine. It's not impossible, but from what we've seen so far, the most likely conclusion is that they're working together. Sakia, you were the one, uh, the one who said we needed to remove our biases. We need to solve this. I am aware. I want to go confront them now, but with only on Gel's testimony, our evidence is a little weak. They'll probably slip out of it again if we go now. They're both much more eloquent than I am, and they'll try to dodge that issue. Which means... We need to search the infirmary. You intend to go in without asking? Yeah. The more stealthily we do it, the better, right? If the doctor finds out, he'll come up with all, with some way of stopping us, I'm sure. Understood. I will go to the lab and keep them occupied while you search the infirmary. Thank you, Sakya. A moment, gentlemen. Mr. Leon. I have something for you. Sorry for being late, I was somewhat delayed. What are these? The first is the massive key. It should open just about any of the simple locks in the school, and is as bright and massive as its owner. The other is a stun gun. If you need to protect yourself, use it. You will have more use for those than I, Kuara. Hold on to them. Doc, right. Thank you, Mr. Leon. <laughs> Maybe I should write in the notes before I go to the infirmary. All right, done. All done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I'm eating Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Angel, I maybe... Angel would come back. Hey, uh, hey, Ryota, maybe you should write down while Angel is eating Taco Bell. Yeah, <laughs> right. All you have extra yeah. time now, Ryota. I'm eating Taco Bell at a time like this, at our final confrontation, I expected I better from you, Angel of Judeca. <laughs> Aloha, save your game for real, because. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. I, I didn't know what you were you were saying it in encrypted terms, so I didn't know what you meant save. <laughs> I was just like, oh, write it down. Yeah, I'm, like I'm doing a little joke, haha. Huh? And you're like, no, save, idiot. I'm like, oh yeah. Save your right. game. It's been a while. Yes, the game. hour of judgment has come. You cannot use the Dark Tree's power here. Return to the Void, Wallenstein. <laughs> well, he seems excited. 
I wonder what the doctor is doing. Being slandered by Mr. Higure, as you can see. Please stop breaking school property, Mr. Higure. I have returned from Dudeka to defeat you. As long as you live, calamitous sorcerer, the world will be wrapped in eternal despair. When he says things with such conviction, I almost find myself believing them. Please, that isn't funny. Yes, yes. Come on, Higure. Let's go back to the gym, okay? No! Stop! Don't throw me out like some wretched doll! I suspect he has suffered from megalomania since birth. Megalomania? Whatever do you mean? But it uh No. Delusions <laughs> no. of grandeur. Shewing societal standards, he lives his life in the midst of some bizarre fantasy. Perhaps it is genetic. There would be no helping it then, would there? He is usually active in the destruction of his surroundings, especially given his physique. Eternal, internal prejudice is a terrible thing, I suppose. He is no doubt exerting to the limits of his capacity at all times. The most dangerous part is his ability to bring his surroundings to into his fantasy. I'm a little <laughs> flustered. Though, I seem to be less affected than you. And since... Although I invited him to the school, I have yet to find a use for him. The whole thing has been nothing but a waste of time. Did you say something just now, Doctor? Nothing, nothing at all. Excuse me. Oh, hello, Shiragane. What's going on? Where did Kawara go? He's investigating another area at the moment. Only Dr. Yumani and Nanaki here now. Isn't Sakazaki here? I think he's walking around to calm his nerves again. He's very brave to be out and about with that scarecrow on the loose. Not brave, just imprudent. Stupid mongrel. Stop pretending to be mi migratory and get back here so I can distract you. I wanted to occupy both of them if possible, but at least they don't realize that we suspect them yet. Just the doctor should be enough. Dr. Iwamine, I came here to ask your opinion on something. My hmm. opinion? I fear I will not be of much use to you there. My body has never required me to visit the infirmary. <laughs> I've not had much occasion to talk to the doctor since moving here, but I can read his expression perfectly well all the same. It says, I'm not telling you anything. Where is where, Mr... I'm sorry. Wh where is Mr. Kawara? Did you have a falling out? <laughs> he did seem to be suspecting me based on nothing but his own prejudice. A pity. I agree, sir. To doubt someone based merely on one's own preconceptions is... Bo what? Belivernous? Bo Belivern... Belivinous, sir. It is nonsense. That's right. I must be perfectly logical in all things. You are renowned as one of the most intelligent birds in the world, Doctor. I do not think that you could be involved in such a grimsly crime as this. It is an honor to be so praised by the heir of the LaBelle family. <laughs> Completely flat. Does he never speak with emotion? Am I, I just hold... now realizing how fucking creepy this guy is? <laughs> I hold a deep respect for you, Doctor. That was me. That's not good. Oh, that's... I'm sorry. We're switching. It's, it's just been... We're trying something new. <laughs> <laughs> you might be aware, but my father owes his life to your medicine. A few years ago, your work allowed the LaBelle family to continue on to even greater glory. Is that so? I had not known. I am afraid that I know little of the fates of the drugs that I develop. The life of but one bird may not be significant to you, but we of the LaBelle family will never forget. Oh, <laughs> how wonderful. 
I take it your father is a figure of great respect. Of course. The family head must always be honored. It would seem that you hold your own biases even more dearly than Mr. Kawara holds his. Almost like the foundation of your very existence. I would rather like I would rather like to see the expression on your face when that foundation collapses. <laughs> Locked. Has it been locked ever since the alarm this morning? The doctor went straight to the lab to begin the autopsy, and I think he's been with some birdie ever since then. Let's see, maybe that massive thing Mr. Leon gave me will do the trick. Yeah. Locked. And I have to pee so bad. <laughs> <laughs> this door has always been a little creepy, but even it's even worse in the dim light. I need to look for evidence that Brigitte was in here quickly. But where do I start? The longer I spend poking in corners, the bigger the risk I that I'll get caught. I need to remember, I have been here a lot. Every time I get sick, I'm going to save. I don't think there's choices that matters, but I'm just going to be careful. Every time I got <laughs> sick, where would the doctor hide something he didn't want anyone else to see? Didn't he forbid even his assistants from touching his desk? It would seem he keeps his drawers locked tight. You're up, massive thing. Bonk! Inside are medical records. He's probably supposed to keep personal information locked up, though I never really thought of him as a respectful type. Uh, there are only one, two, three, four files. Their names are Ka uh, Kawara Ryota, Megi Brigitte, uh, Fujishiro Nageki, and uh, Shiragane Sakia. What? It's, I'm not surprised to see a file on me in here, but... Prashut and Saki have never been, been, uh, had any reason to be in here, and Fujishir Nageki. Looking closely, Nageki's folder says St. Pigeonation's Medical Center on the side, while the others don't, and the date is from five years ago. Did he take this from the medical center? Since it's here, he must know something about the fire back then. Are there, are the other three records from physical, physical exams? They're full of strange symbols and numbers, I'm not sure what they mean. Uh-huh. Saki has a second piece of paper in it. It looks like some sort of memo or... Ugh! A sudden blinding pain in the back of my head. I can't move. I fall unconscious. Ugh. Ugh. Where am I? I feel dizzy. <laughs> That's right. I was looking for evidence in the infirmary. The medical records are gone. Somebody took them. I managed to get to get knocked out even with with the stun gun Mr. Leon gave me. Darn it. I don't know who attacked me, but those records must have been important to get stolen away like that. Huh, darn it. Why did I let myself get taken from behind like that? Phrasing. Hmm. I had her records. Even with those, it would have been hard to prove anything. Whoever attacked me must have been the criminal. They probably wouldn't leave anything, but maybe they missed a clue in here somewhere. Huh? I had noticed, noticed earlier, but there's a card under the desk. In the corner, I wouldn't have seen it if I weren't on the floor. This is... Brigitte's student ID. There's blood on the corner. So it wasn't dropped by accident before she was killed. It must have happened in here. It looks like my doubts about the doctor are confirmed. But for some reason, I still feel unsure. I almost feel like this is too good to be true. Like I'm being led along. If the doctor were behind all, behind it all, surely he would, he could avoid casting so much doubt on himself. Just what is he after, anyways? But I'm not worried about who who is doing what and why. I'm worried about finding the one who did the super shoot. I need to talk with Sakia. <clears throat> so you think it would take a fair amount of time to cut a human like this and distribute them into boxes, Doctor? Correct. Even if she were cut up last night and distributed this morning, it would involve a good deal of physical labor. Sakia? You again. Can we go to the maintenance room? We need to talk. Very well. Mr. Shiragane. Yes, Doctor? Just as an aside, it would be impossible for one such as myself. 
Even with the knowledge and tools of a physician. Even so, I am not a particularly healthy person. Not a healthy person? He, like, walks into a corner and vomits. <laughs> <laughs> I've the got the flu, you see. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor is slightly impaired down his right side, you know. He is? I never knew. I was injured long ago. My right wing will never fully recover, though it rarely poses problems in daily life. A human corpse is heavy. It feels a bit... It seems like a bit much to go dragging around with one wing, don't you think? Yes, it's all true. It's even recorded in the faculty medical records. It is? I see. Thanks, I'll remember that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell Saki about what I found in the infirmary as we head to the maintenance office. Meaning, Fushi... Fujishiro Nakaki's records and the doctor have something to do with the medical center. I think so, yeah. I wonder about the other records, too. Why you, me, and Pursuit all together? Could that really be a coincidence? Did you go there often after you moved here or anything? Not once. Nobility knows no illness. Yeah. I've never seen him sick, and he always seems pretty lively. I hadn't known about the doctor's injury. Kind of a bad thing to find out now bad because it is inconvenient to your theory we must remain just no harm can ever come from learning more of the truth i guess so maybe it's just because he's not very active or because he never leaves the infirmary but i guess i never really had a chance to notice his disability if he could have couldn't have done it al alone it makes it seem more likely that he was working together with you yeah blessed mongrel no good could ever come of his presence. He merely confuses the issue. Salutations! Were you gossiping about me? Yuya! What a pickle. I guess I'm the topic of choice among the boys as well as the girls now. Not that I mind. <laughs> Gay rights, let's go. <laughs> Don't let it get to your head, mongrel. We weren't saying anything good about you. That's right, Yuya. From your point of view, we were subjecting you to vile slander and ill gossips. You're very frank, Ryota. Nothing wrong with that. What kind of slander? Perhaps you shouldn't say, lest my fragile heart shatter like a maiden's crystal glass dropped by an unkind lover. It should be obvious what we were talking about from our faces alone, but he's completely relaxed. I doubt his heart is made of glass, though. Use tires, maybe. Something that is completely impervious to abuse. Your unsolicited presence saves us the trouble of looking for you. We demand answers from you. You lied. You met McGee in the infirmary yesterday. Did you kill her? So you doubt me. I'd love to see your evidence. We found her ID is stained with... Oh, oh God. Oh, Bless fuck. You. We... Also. <laughs> we found her ID stained with blood in the infirmary. You are duty bound to answer. What did you see in the infirmary yesterday? And what did you do? Well, I can't tell you anything. Sorry. I can't say anything at all. Cease this foolishness. You know something, don't you? Do not attempt to dodge the... Huh? Run, you two. Such terrible timing. No birdie likes a man who can't read the atmosphere, Mr. Scarecrow. Is this the time for jokes? Run, go! Oh, the little flapping of wings. Ryota seems to have left us in the dust. Maybe we should hurry up a little. Doesn't look like it's noticed us. I guess it's not too keen on chasing people. Your idle flirtation sickened me, filthy mongrel. Shh. Do you want it to hear us? 
How about this? I'll go first and lure Mr. Beanpole Man towards the cafeteria. You head for the maintenance room while it's distracted, okay? You plan to act as a decoy. Don't think this will stop me from suspecting you. I wasn't asking you to. I've been your ally until now, so I stop now. Our ally? Anyway, run for it as soon as we're out of sight. Adieu! Oh, that music was kind of fire. <laughs> Sakya! Your theme is a banger. You use theme. <laughs> I just realized there's this bird over here with a UFO over them, their head. Uh, yeah, on the wall. Sakya, you're okay. I was worried that maybe he, you got you got caught. Indeed. Isn't Yuya with you? We never got him to answer anything. I do not know. He ran in the opposite direction. Huh. We don't have much time left. I think the only thing to do is to get him to, uh, get him to talk to us and then confront the doctor. He's been helping us this whole time, but I don't know if we can still consider him our ally. Our ally. Indeed. You've always been separated, right? So you don't really know how he usually acts, or if he'd likely to be do likely he'd be likely to do something like this. Or How could I know? He and I live in different worlds. As my father said, I couldn't know. I'm an only child, so I don't really understand siblings, but I think I know how you feel about him, Sakya. Do not make me repeat myself. He and I have no connection. But I want to believe that he's not my enemy. Looks like Sakya isn't entirely sure what to think. The prime suspects are the doctor who aided his family and his own half-brother. If I were to get, were given the same situation, I wouldn't be as calm as he is. We should write down in the notes and go talk to the doctor. Go find out exactly what happened in the infirmary. We figured out a lot of things, but there's still a lot that remains to this mystery. It's 6 p.m. We don't have much time. Can we solve this and get out alive within only four hours? All right, let's go, Saku. Huh? Sakia? Your friend already left, young one. Uh, why didn't he say so earlier? He's planning to confront the doctor alone. Shit, gamers. Oh, oh no. Man. Purple. Oh, this is Sakuya reading, I believe. Mm -hmm. Father is of the pure bloodline, and so his life is of the utmost value. By extension, the doctor who saved his life must also be valued. I must not disrespect him, because that is what father told me. My brother, born of a low father, is a worthless being. Though he looks noble, his veins flow with filthy, impure blood. I must not associate with those of low birth, because that is what father told me. I am no longer sure. What is blood? Why does it divide us so? Am I being less racist? Racism redemption. <laughs> oh, hello again, Shiragane. Where's the doctor? He said he was going back to the infirmary. Maybe he forgot something there? Thank you. You're going right after him. Don't you want any tea? Well, be careful. He looked rather troubled. I hope he's all right. Hey, that music cutting out, Kazuaki. What's what's up with that? What's up with that, Kazuaki? What is what are you doing, Doctor? Mister Shirogane, you look quite fatigued. Would you care to rest for a little while? You. You are wrong. Are you not, sir? Whatever could you mean? I wish to learn the truth. What did you and Sakazaki do? Which of you decided to kill McGee? That's not something to say without proof, Mr. Shirogane. But then, we have but little time left. Perhaps I shall explain things to you. I did not kill Ms. McGee. 
This is the truth. Of course. How could I let myself be swayed by idle rumors? The doctor cannot possibly carry out such an atrocity. Mr. Sakazaki did not kill her either. Which raises the question, who did? Sakazaki admitted that he was involved in the crime. He cannot possibly be... I merely said he did not kill her. I did not say he wasn't, he wasn't involved. Of course, the same applies to myself. The two of you did not kill her, but were involved? But then, who did kill her? Oh dear me, this won't do. Talking to you makes me feel like I'm about to fall asleep. I suppose there are limits of a mere mongrel. What did he just say? Doctor, I... Could you be quiet for a minute, Mr. Shirogane? You bore me. You filthy, low-born mongrel. What? What are you saying, sir? I am not like Saka. You did well. Thanks to you, Mr. Kawara has found almost everything he needs. Just one more push and he'll be done. Thank you, Mr. Shirogane. A glint of white steel. His left wing slowly traces an arc through the air. I'm dying. I'm dying. What did he say? Why was I left behind? I can't think. Uh -huh. Sakazaki? Stop that, Isa! I told you not to touch my brother! Suddenly, Sakazaki Yuya blocks out the sun. Blood is spread across the floor. I'm unhurt. Who's... your wing? Such beautiful brotherly love, Mr. Sakazaki. You were the real hero all along, of course. I only promised that I wouldn't tell other people. That I wouldn't tell him myself. Or that I wouldn't kill him. And after all that work to steal the records from Mr. Kawara, too. Yeah, you've always been like this. A coward and villain to the core. Oh, such flattery. What are you doing, Doctor? Why? Why are you doing this? I told you, remember? You bore me. Now that you've helped Mr. Kawara as much as you can, I have no more use for you. Why should I put up with your babbling now that I'm done with you? I don't understand, sir. What did you and Sakazaki... This is exactly what I'm talking about. I have no responsibility to explain to you. Goodbye, Mr. Shirogane. No! Don't move, Sakaya! Sakiya. Oh, Mr. Kawara. We were just discussing you. Yuya standing over Sakiya, blood running down his body. The doctor standing next to him. There's no question about what happened. Doctor, so was you all along. Was it? I wonder about that. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Sakazaki. Say something. Don't worry, he won't die just yet. I'm sure you'll all enjoy a confession or two, so ask him all you want. Wait, Doctor. <sighs> the, the Scarecrow. There you are, Labor, labor Nine. I was waiting for you. Come, let us go. Labor 9, is that the Scarecrow's name? 
So, he was working under the doctor this whole time. Just a little more, Mr. Kawara. Do you think you'll remember soon? Stop running away. You killed Brigitte, I will never forgive you. I'm glad you are so lively. That's good. I shall be waiting for you, deep beneath the surface. Chase me, Mr. Kawara. I reach out. I can't reach. The Doctor and Scarecrow are gone. Don't go chasing after the beanpole man on your own, Ryota. A good man keeps his cool, even in times like this. Don't speak. You're still bleeding. Don't worry. Who the hell do you think I am? Ruby. Fine. I know my limits better than anyone else. I won't die. To a little scalpel. Getting whacked with a cleaver would have been bad, but... There are plenty of bandages here. Sakia, wait here. I'll go get Mr. Leon. Wait. Ryota, I have things to tell you. Can you wait long enough to hear my confession? Uh, but bro, you're dying. <laughs> like the doctor said, there's no time to waste. So let me tell you everything I can. This might be our last chance. Too late, Sakazaki. If you were involved, why didn't you tell us before? <laughs> we had a deal. Of course, he broke it. Without a second thought, the doctor and I did not kill her. That is the truth. But then why did he... She died in this room after school yesterday. That is also the truth. Then there was someone else. Yes. Right, it's all his soccer, yeah. And that third person killed Brigitte? Who was it? I'm sorry, I can't tell you that. I think... Don't figure it out. I have to apologize to you. The doctor and I were the ones who cut her up. So you stuffed her in those boxes? It was the time. The doctor needed to be sure of when she'd be found. He decided morning would give us time for the most humans to gather. I suppose he probably thought putting her in the print boxes was funny, too. The most humans? Why would... Looks like I've stayed on the fence to the very end. I didn't have the resolve to go either way. If only things had been a little different. Thought you said you'd be fine. Are you worried for me? I'm honored. Could you go outside for a bit, Ryota? We'll go to the maintenance office afterwards. Just for a little. I want to talk to Saki. Hold on. Uh, Aloha. Apparently, TV's pretty quiet. If you want to turn him up on your end. Yeah. Darn. <laughs> you have a new father now, Yuya. He has a beautiful mansion, and you'll be moving there tomorrow. But your new father says he doesn't want your brother. He says he can only feed you if you leave the egg behind. Mother is sad. He is her son, too. I will go. I will throw my brother away, Mother. Give me the egg. The new father killed my father. I know he did. He killed him so he could take mother from him. I waited. Until she laid a new egg. Until she laid an egg with the new father's child inside. I had hid him away in the mansion. And I switched them. So he will raise my brother as his own son. The new father hates me. But he will love my brother. He will give him nice food and nice clothes and a nice bed. My brother will not know. No one will know but me. I hate the new father. I took the new egg, and I smashed it. 
Why? They're not half brothers. Surprise! I've always thought that maybe I should have told you. The doctor did not lie. You're the same as me, Sakuya. We were never half brothers. You are my real brother. Impossible. I am the heir of the LaBelle family. Father told me so. Everyone told me so. I was raised for no other purpose. I never told anyone that I'd switched the eggs. If father found out, he'd throw you away. I did it for you. No, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just did to spite that man. I killed the child he had with mother. That was the cross I had to bear. It was never your problem. I was happy just to see you living in luxury. You, you what authority? <laughs> None, you're right. I only ever listened to myself, but the doctor knows it. He must have realized. I guess I was doing what he said all along. Since I took your lineage, the fact I killed the LaBelle, the other father's child will never leave me. I've never been able to forget. If you're blamed for that child's death, you have to press on. You can't let it stop you. I always worried about whether I should tell you or not. Now it's too late. So. Oh. To deny me my lineage now. I'm sorry, Sakia. I should have told you long ago. I was never as sure of myself as you. I am not of the LaBelle line. What am I? I knew you'd ask that. Straightforward as always. <laughs> Leave this place, Sakia, and think about it. Long and hard. You have a lot more to worry about than just who your family is, after all. No, wait, Sakazaki! Stay with me! There's so much for you to tell me! <laughs> it's been a long time since we've talked this much. I talk to you every day when you're still an egg. Pull yourself together, Yuya. You can't leave like this. You said a little scalpel like that wouldn't kill you. I should apologize about that, too. Remember the headmaster? That was nerve toxin. You mean that scalpel had? Go on, Saki. Leave your liar, brother, and go. The doctor must have a way out of here. You are yourself. Never let anyone tie you down later buddy Yusha Yusha do that was a great last scene that good job really everybody scene. yippee thank yippee. you got some good Sakuya some good Yuya some good Shu I liked the part where I killed him <laughs> I didn't at all oh, I kind of hated guy. that shit <laughs> It's 6 p.m. I haven't had much of a sense of pass, uh, time passing since the dome appeared, but it's already evening. The atmosphere in the maintenance office is tense. The doctor said he'd be waiting deep beneath the surface. Does this building have a basement? Certainly not one that appears on the official plans, but maybe. Under the medical center, but that one's blocked off with concrete. Does not seem to me that the medical center is an entirely independent building. There may well be a path from this building into the basement there. Is there any way you might have missed something? Missed something, or forgotten something. Somewhere I forgot to look. Oh, that's right. The encyclopedia from the library in the medical center. In the chronology in the medical records. I'd like to talk to Nageki again. You thought of something? Yeah, I need to go check. Sakia. He hasn't spoken since what happened in the infirmary. 
I can't blame him. I know how he feels. Better to leave him alone. Nageki. Bolts? No? Okay. Bolts? Oh no. I'll be Nageki. I Nageki's know. Fine. I'm worried about it too. Bo -bo -bo. You're fading again. Where are you? Nageki, there you are. What is it? Sorry, I, I really, really had to pee. Okay. <laughs> I found out a lot about the school and about you. I see. I suppose you know who I am then. Sort of, but there are things I need to ask you. That's why I'm here. The fire five years ago in the dome today. How are they related? Nageki must know something about the secrets of the secrets the school holds. You aren't really here anymore, are you? That might be so. Or it might not. I saw in the school's records. It says you died five years ago in an accident in the medical center. I had become aware of that. I stopped my own clock here. That's why I can never leave. You stopped your... In other words... At the very least, I took my life through my own will. I am almost sure of that. So you didn't die in the accident. He hangs his head in silence. Looks like he can't remember everything from before he died. I need a clue. There must be a basement under the medical center, and I need to get, get in there. Oh, that's right. The encyclopedia. The encyclopedia? You used to go, go to the medical center, right? Did you switch one of the encyclopedias from there with the one here? Why would... That's what I want to know. I guess I should just tell him. Look, you know how the encyclopedias here are out of order? There are two copies of Volume 9 and no Volume 6. The medical Center has the same encyclopedias? Yeah, there are two copies of 6 there and no 9. How disorderly. Yeah. Anyway, one of the copies from Volume 6 there has a library sticker on it. Someone must have taken it from there. Switch the encyclopedias. Huh. Mr. Kawara, try... Try reading this copy of Column 9. Looking... Looking's worth a thousand spoken words, I guess. Uh-huh. This isn't right. It looks like it... It looks like just another book when it's closed, but... It's... A box. It's full of files. Some sort of documents? They're all from five, year, five years ago. There must, be, must have been... What does it say? That one. Let's see. Operation Hatoful. This is talking about using carrier individuals as biological weapons to fight humans? It is the same title as the file in the headmaster's office. But I never expected anything like this. Meaning, this school has been being used for biological weapons development for at least five years? 2,180. New strains of uh, Sumatera influenza isolated. 2,183. A new strain has been isolated from Fuji Fujishiro Nageki. It is lethal to humans and it has been named uh, Charon virus. And it has entered research at... St. Pigeonation's Medical Center. Charon virus. Human... Oh, wait, sorry, that was you. That's me. Yeah. This kid was being used as, like, a biological bomb? Yep. It's wild. Humans I met would always get sick. Are you remembering something? Yeah. I think so. I think I was the one who brought that book here. The birds with me in the medical center often did secret things in the reference room. I wanted to tell someone, 
tell someone important what was happening at the center. What was it? My family? It must have been my family. I... That's right. I... I burned. I had to... I had to disappear. Why didn't I notice? Did... Did I your help to see? <laughs> <laughs> he paces nervously in circles, rambling to himself. If you realized something, it would have helped me me to know what it is. I've, I've remembered. Remembered what happened here five years ago. Apparently it's said... It must be having like a psychological... Yeah, yeah, it's spelled... Ca it said Great. Karen. Karen. Uh, Karen. Karen. Yeah. Yeah. Karen. Yeah. I, I can't remember my parents' faces. I lived in an orphanage with other birds my age ever, since before I could remember. I never thought much of it at the time, but apparently every birdie there was a war orphan. But I did not resent the humans who had started the war. I didn't care. I thought that living with other chicks and no parents was as natural as could be. One day, the endless routine was broken and some humans broke into the orphanage. They had guns and kept shouting, Free humanity! Free humanity! I think that's what they said. They barricaded themselves in our house and killed us one at a time. I was helpless. I could only hide in the corner and weep as my family was killed before my eyes. I don't know how much time had gone by since they came. When I looked around the silent room, they were all collapsed on the floor. Birds had come to save us. They'd come and killed the evil humans. That is what I thought. But... You've been granted a great power. You are one of the chosen few. I left the orphanage with my one remaining sibling, and we lived in an apartment. But I was weak and couldn't go to school or get a job. I was nothing but a burden. And then I received the invitation. We wish to welcome you with special treatment. How would you like to study at the world's foremost avian school? We'll provide everything you need. Anything at all. There is a hospital on the school grounds. We'll provide a room for you to live there. You shall receive all the care you require. I was living with my brother. I didn't want to leave him. But if I continued to live with him, I would only hold him down. He was happy to hear that I would have a chance to improve my physical condition. And so I enrolled in St. Pigeon Nation. I was still weak, and so I often stayed in my room. I had no friends, but I was not unhappy. The nurses and the faculty were all very kind to me. And then... Early in my first summer vacation, the doctor made a proposal to me. This vacation is the perfect opportunity. Would you like to undergo intensive treatment? You'll have to stay inside for some time, but by the end of the summer, you could be as healthy as any other bird in the school. <laughs> and so began a long summer in the underground facility. First, a routine of daily experimentations and numerous medications. And then, the experiments began. The experiments to kill humans. A human would be brought to me. They would struggle and gasp. And then, with a last painful sigh, they would stop moving. Oh my god, I know what happened! Oh. <laughs> it all going, makes Vold. sense now. <laughs> Keep going, Volds. <laughs> Everything is coming together. I knew why I was brought here. Living in my body was a virus deadly to humans in a matter of minutes. My parents, whose faces I never knew, were killed by humans. Everyone else in the orphanage was killed by humans. And in return, I killed another human with each experiment. Simply by standing in the same room as me, by breathing the same air as me, they would collapse. I couldn't stand it. I had no reason to hate them, but... Watching them die in front of me shaved away at my heart little by little. And so I decided to end it all. I had only one wish. I just wanted... I wanted to disappear from this world without a trace. The Sharon virus. The deadly guests that made its home in my body. This is what they called it. 
No doubt they were searching for a way to destroy humanity with that virus. That was Operation Hutoful? Yes. That's why I... That's why I burned it all five years ago. There should have been nothing left, but... I am not here. But maybe, just maybe, there's still something left somewhere. And I could feel him close by my... Mr. Kawara. Are you going to the basement? I don't have a choice. To find a way out of here alive and to find out why they killed Brigitte, I need to ask the doctor. I see. That encyclopedia. What else is inside? Oh. A piece of paper folded up along with the files. This is... a map of the medical center. When I was there, I went... I went in through the medical center. But it must connect to the main building somewhere near here. Um, that looks like the gym, so those stairs are... I believe it is in the chemistry preparation room. The researchers often went in there. The doctor is beneath the preparation room. Thank you, Nageki. I have to go. Yes. I think you'll be seeing me again, and... Miss McGee, as well. Seventh mm. class. Oh, how that we feeling, gamers? Oh. <laughs> Everything good? Everything good? Everyone good? What's, what's wrong? What's wrong? I'm fine. I'm fine. What are all these noises about? <laughs> I'm uh, just sad. A staircase in the preparation room? I've never noticed one. I wonder where it could be. If the scarecrow went down there with the doctor, it would need to be pretty a pretty big opening. We'll have to go take a look. 7 p.m. already. We only have three hours until we're overrun with bloodthirsty humans. We don't know for sure if there's an escape route in the basement, but it's our best bet. Maybe we should get every birdie from the gym to come with us as soon as we find the stairs. Leave that to me. Mr. Leon. I'll take care of the other students. Don't worry, I'm not a massive agent for nothing. I'm saying that. <laughs> well then, thank you, Mr. One. Um, you aren't going with him, sir? I'm going to come with you, Kuara. We never know what could happen. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. I am your homeroom teacher, after all. You've done a good job so far. I want to be there to help you if you get thing if things get dangerous. What about you, Sakya? Oh, I'm here. You two go ahead. I'll catch up with you. All right. Okay. We're going to get out of here together, okay? Mwah. Too much has happened today for both Sakya and me. I don't know what's on his mind, and it doesn't seem interesting in tell it doesn't seem interesting interested in telling me, but if he wants to be alone, that's for the best. I guess it's the two of us then, Mr. Nanaki. If if something bad happens, one of us can come back and war warn the others, Mr. Leon. Oh. Understood. This come just up. goes to show we really should have gotten that summer job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Commence All operation. this wouldn't have happened. Commence Operation Breakout, it is then. Oh god. Not so fast! Yeah! <laughs> He's back! I don't know. worry, I broke I so much glass! Mm. I... What does he want now? We don't have time for messing around. To extort this Melodia Funus, you travel now to the Abyss of Despair, do you not? Uh, the Abyss of Despair? I sense demon spores far greater in power than even those released by the uh. Tree of Blight. I cannot allow you to face the dark sorcerer Wallenstein alone. That Wallenstein guy is the doctor, right? Uh, okay. We're coming for you, Wallenstein! Wait, Ungiel, we need to be careful. Wait! <laughs> he certainly is lively. Let's go. And takes out a bat or something and starts swinging it. <laughs> He's just breaking all the windows as we walk down. 
<laughs> I think this is the first time I've been in here. It's kind of bland. Mm, yes. Not a very friendly room, but not distasteful either. This place is flooded with demon spores. Any good bird would normally avoid it. Can you think of anything, sir? Like a hidden door, or... I don't come here very much, so... Hmm. Do you feel a draft? A draft? There are no windows in here. It must be coming from the basement. <gasps> be silent, my crimson breast. We must hold it back, or the eulogy of doom will... Gate of Erebus, guide me to the abyss. Wait, calm down, Angel. You can't... Start smashing shit. Yeah. Damn straight <laughs> yeah. I do! Oh, there it is. So it was behind the mirror all along. He... he's a lot more clever than he acts, isn't he? Even if he does spout nonsense whenever he opens his... whenever he opens his beak. Let us proceed, Textoris Melodonia Furnis. The master of the abyss awaits us below. A long, dark staircase winds downward behind the mirror. How far does it go? The basement itself should be pretty big. This is sort of like the entrance to the subway into its subway tunnel. Let's go. Love chat being like, oh, Angel's just the undisputed best, huh? Yup. That's why he's <laughs> my favorite. I was telling so you guys cool. this entire time. He's so cool and I love him. He's such a scrunkly, funny little guy. And he, if he knows that glass is anywhere within 10 feet of him, he will break it. He must smash it. Compulsion. Very impressive. This is a lot fancier than I was ex than I expected. I never knew this huge place was underneath the school. This uh, facility has been used for research to kill humans since the school was founded. I, Prashut, none of us even ever knew. We lived our carefree lives with all this going on beneath our feet. Hmm. I don't see any birdie. I wonder if it's closed now. Yeah, it's clean and orderly, but I don't get the feeling that it's still in use. There was a fire somewhere down here five years ago, and since then, the whole facility's been shut up. I suppose they froze whatever project they were working on. Hey, Angel. Which way do you think we should go in order to find the doctor? That would be, uh... Ah! My crimson breast murmurs! The midnight hunter approaches! Your awe ah, activated by quail reflexes made me jump straight up out of my chair. <laughs> uh, couldn't have you couldn't you have said that earlier? Oh dear. If we don't get past him, we can't go on. We cannot reach Wallenstein without first defeating his dark servant. This trial cannot be avoided. But all we've ever managed to do is run away from this thing. How can we uh, 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 uh. boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get anywhere near just we can't get anywhere just by running away. Do we have any sort of weapon? A weapon? I do have the stun gun Mr. Leon let me. Will it even work on a scarecrow? Maybe not at normal output. But it looks like a living creature, so I doubt it could be completely unaffected. The Midnight Hunter is a hound bred from the Black Void. We must purify it with holy water. Uh, oh yes, that's a good idea. Well, what is, what did he even say? There's a fire hose on the wall, there. If we time it right. Mr. Nanaki wobbles towards the wall and he puts, pulls out the hose. Of course. Ready? I'm gonna save for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. He points the hose at the scarecrow and he opens the valve. Angel, sir, get back! I set the stun gun to maximum and hur it and hurl it at the scarecrow. Yeah, that's oh, it's, that's not how you that's use how it works. Stun a stun gun. That's how it works. Well, fuck me. <sighs> It collapses with an unpleasant noise. 
Its electrified metal arm twitches for a moment, but then it is still. We did it! Electricity is a powerful thing indeed. The thunderous voice of doom. Judgment has come! <sighs> Goodbye, Mr. Scarecrow. Onwards! <laughs> Onwards! Before you go, I was brother. <laughs> <laughs> I assume this is uh, Sakia. Yeah. Disgraceful. What am I doing here? A label is not allowed hesitation. No. I have not. I have not even the right to claim that restriction anymore. Yuya. Foolish. No, not ish at all. I am a fool. I've been pampered my entire life while in my shadow he crawled along under the weight of a crime of which only he knew. I've been nothing but vain and selfish. What should I do, Yuya? Cuckoo! It is Sakia. Sakia is here. Leave. Got it. No one wanted you to come here. This is not the character I want to play right now. <laughs> <laughs> he really wants to talk to. Coo, everyone is leaving. It is grand daring escape. Cuckoo, Sakia will find Ryota with Okusan. Away we go. Shut up. Don't talk to me. Coo, Sakia weeps. <laughs> no, I do not. It's raining. Cuckoo. Is Sakya in pain? That is bad. We must do something about it. What, what do you mean? You, oh, God. Cuckoo. Okusan used healing touch. <laughs> oh, you don't touch me. <laughs> I must repeat. Cuckoo. Okusan knows. Okusan heard that Yuya has gone somewhere far, far away. We will never see him again. So they told you. Ku, do not worry. If we cannot meet him, we need only chase after him. <laughs> do you have any idea what you're saying? Death is not a good place to chase someone to. No doubt the older breeds have no concept of death. Chase Yuya into the grave. What kind of fool would? Ku, Oksen knows. The earth is a ball, so if we run far and... Sorry, I was with Siri on my phone just randomly yeah. started talking. I did not touch anything. Koo, Okusan knows. The earth is a ball, so if we run far enough, we will find him. What foolishness speaking with mongrels makes my head hurt. Except I'm a mongrel too. Poor mongrels who do not notice even their own error, that is. Koo, Okusan is not a mongrel. Who, Sakya and Yuya and Okusen all have their own wonderful names. Names more important than any breed. Is that your argument? That isn't even... You are yourself. Never let anyone tie you down. Huh. I am myself. Goku, it is time to go. Okusan and friend are late. Goo, kick reason to the curb. Time to blast out of this prison and find Yuya. Oko is always brimming with useless energy, as he was. And I'm the same, perhaps. We'll never see him again, no matter how far we run. But if he were here now, what would he do? What would he want me to do? At any rate, moping around here won't get us anywhere. <laughs> Two more hours. I'll chase after him. I will never find him, but I will find myself. Let's go, Oko. There is nothing more for us here. Ooh, Saki is the best when he acts cool. After Ryota, full speed ahead. Aww. No race car noise. <laughs> No, it's too serious right now. <laughs> it's too, too serious, serious for the cool race car noise. <laughs> the demon spores are thick in the air. I smell the stench of the sorcerer. Rude! 
I feel a little nervous relying on Ongal's bizarre intuition alone, but it's worked so far and we're in a hurry. Is he actually following the doctor by scent? Or was it just an was it was it just an Ongalism? There's some very advanced equipment in here. And these documents look fairly new. Maybe this place is still in use? There's a register of names left open on the desk. On one desk. Maybe it's a student register. Look, uh, your name's here here too, Ongal. The Dark Grimoire. I feel the tendrils of imminent tragedy. They have notes on some of the students, too. Under Higude, he, he acts as a neurotransmitter when excited. He seems to produce intoxicating or hallucinogenic pheromones. Physical exertion acts as a stimulant. The pheromone causes others to temporarily lose control of themselves, but its usefulness is limited. Not only not currently applicable to combat. Anghel's all of Ar Anghel's RPG fights have been him making everyone like with pheromones go into an RPG fight and hallucinate That's one. That's great. None of it fucking happened. <laughs> <laughs> I shall not allow the sorcerer to make me his pawn. I am the Crimson Angel of Dudeca. Destined to wander this earth alone. I'm not sure what he's talking about, but he sounds and looks unexpectedly heroic. <laughs> it looks like all the students who were invited here have some sort of physical idiosyncrasy. How did you enroll, Kawara? How? I was... invited to. I don't know why. Hmm. Yours is just a bunch of numbers. I wonder if it's the explanation for something like Igure's. <sighs> no! The black miasma of inevitable doom draws near! We are approaching the gate of the abyss. I feel its foul wind. Let's go, the doctor's waiting for us. That's what I said. Could you wait a minute, Kawara? What is it, sir? We're almost done, we need to... I want to ask you something first, Kawara. You lied, did not you? <laughs> did huh? That, what it said? that is what it said. Lied? <laughs> Me? I don't know why you would lie about that. Or maybe you forgot. Even though it was just yesterday. Yesterday? After school? Like I said to Sakya, I don't know anything about it. We have to ask the doctor. Hmm, I see. Let's go then. Mr. Nanaki follows Angel down towards the innermost room. I've been trying to find the truth about Prashut's death since this morning. Why would I lie? Maybe Mr. Nanaki understood, misunderstood something, but that seems too simple. But what if you were robot and you killed her? <laughs> no! <laughs> In contrast to the rooms above, the, this area is dark and filthy. This must be where the fire was five years ago. I feel like I can smell the suit just by looking at the walls here. Nageki threw himself into the sea of fire here to end the experiments. I wonder what I would have done in his place. Would I have ended it all like him or... You're late, Mr. Kawara. I have grown tired of waiting. <sighs> the Dark Sorcerer of Orenstein! Doctor. It wasn't just Prajut. You killed the Headmaster as well. If it weren't for you, the boy who went outside would it have been... Why are you doing this? Must I repeat myself? Save oh. again. <laughs> oh, yeah, save. Save in the middle yeah. of my monologue. Save That's really right. quick. <laughs> I told you before. You, you've had so many choices so far. I told you before. I merely disassembled Miss McGee after the fact. I did not kill her. Do you think I care? Hmm. It would appear that you need some assistance. I told you before, but 
You really should have... You, you should already have everything you need to answer your question. Who killed McGee Prejute? Do not listen to the dark sorcerer's words, Te Textoris Melodoya Funis. He will lay a spell on you! Perhaps the peanut gallery could keep his thoughts to itself. Uh, an iron grill drops behind me like an evil wizard's portcullis. I'm cut off. Oh dear. We appear to be shut in. No. The dark spell. What are you doing? Nothing at all. I simply have no business with them. I was waiting for you, Mr. Kawara. Now, let us return to our conversation. Our conversation about the truth you seek. You have done unbelievably cruel things, Doctor. You were involved in the medical center here, too. Nothing you can say to me will change my mind. How pugnacious of you. But you are lacking in, no in logic. What I may or may not have have done has little to do with the truth of my words. Sorry, it's all appearing very fast for me. I was employed at this facility from the beginning. No doubt you have already deduced that I was working on Operation Hatofu. Operation Hatofu? The plan to wipe out humanity with the Charon virus? Precisely. Oh, it does make me so happy when students read ahead and come prepared for the lecture. You are exemplary. <laughs> the strain we isolated from the original host was extremely powerful. Quite possibly the deadliest in human history. However, stains of such lethality tend to be fragile themselves. Karen virus was no exception. I said stains? I think it's a strain. <laughs> it cannot last very long outside of a host's body. In order to deliver it to the enemy, we would have to send live carriers into their society and allowed it to spread via airborne infection. This provided, this proved troublesome. Karen virus, in addition to being harmless to birds, is ill-equipped to establish itself in our bodies. Fujishiro Nageki, the original host, had a rare genetic condition which resulted in a slightly compromised immune system. In his body alone was Charon able to safely reside. Alas, he refused to cooperate. You forced him to kill human prisoners. If it weren't for your experiments, he would never have killed himself. Indeed. It had not occurred to us that the tests of the strain's effects would harm his mental health. We expected that he would be glad of the chance to avenge himself on humanity, but... Sadly, it was not so, and we lost our sample. The project was put on indefinite hold with his death, but thankfully we did not lose his corpse in its entirety. I preserved his remains, and have kept them to this day. Fuck. I have been waiting for a new carrier to arrive. It sounds like this was a very labor-intensive project. Wasn't there a better way? Quite right. I digress a little, but there was a reason for our methods. It did not take me long to come up with a better plan. We need only compromise a subject's immune system, creating a compatibility like Fujishiro Nageki's. Compromise the immune system, they die. Indeed. Even if the subject were, be were able to become a carrier for the Charon virus, if they died to some other infection, it would be it would all be for naught. Which is why I was very careful with who I chose. I worked on the subject over time, slowly weakening his immune system. I suppose I should count myself lucky that I achieved my goal in only a year. You are an exemplary student, Mr. Kawara. I give you full marks. Full marks? My head hurts, almost as if some strange creature is wriggling about deep inside my brain. Are you okay, Ryota? Mr. Nanaki said that you were coming here, so I wanted to make sure you were all right. Pursuit came to the infirmary. 
to see me? You have come this far. I'm sure you can answer this. What was it that you forgot? Everything is hazy. No, it's you. I think my stomach is acting up again. I drink the medicine Dr. Iwamina gave me, gives me, and lie down, but my body still, still feels heavy. I'm tired. Are you okay, Ryota? Yeah, I'm fine now. Mr. Nanaki said you were coming here, so I wanted to make sure you were all right. Prashut is reaching towards me. Want to go home? I'll walk you. Her hand stops. Brigitte falls to her knees, clutching her chest. Ryota, I can't breathe. Oh, she can't breathe. This is bad. My mother said to get home early. Everything feels strange, almost like it's a dream. I need to go home. Goodbye, Prashut. See you tomorrow. <sighs> She fell down before my eyes, and then... The experiment was a resounding success. Ms. McGee displayed the archetypical symptoms of a human infected with Charon virus, and passed away. I... Once the virus is inside a human body, it shuts down the respiratory system in a matter of minutes. Technically speaking, it causes an overreaction of the immune system which leads to... Widespread apop apop ap apopsis Apop in the lungs. But more simply, any human who comes into contact with you will die. You see? I'm a doctor, Apops. I know how to say it. You're lying. <laughs> you and I were together since we were children. Of course. I only administered the live virus to you yesterday. All the things I've done to you over the past year have been in preparation for it. Do you recognize this? The scarecrow's head. No. Yes, alas, the, new, the body is now useless, but... I shall tell you about Labor Nine, the being you call the scarecrow. It is one of the labor model new humans developed by Dove Party researchers, but denounced as unethical. We birds have advanced quickly, but our physical cap capabilities are still far behind those of the human race. These new creatures were livestock, if you will, to compensate for that. The labor series was a great step towards the beautiful ideal of coexistence with humans. With a human's head mounted inside an artificial body, they were durable and capable of difficult tasks. Of course, they never entered development, the project having been shut down early due to ethical complaints. However, I carried on the Dove Party researcher's will and created this prototype to be my sidekick. We didn't want too many other people snooping around and disrupting your investigation, so I had it patrol the building. And now, the next question. What is inside this bag? A human head? No, no, no. Close, but you have to be more specific. I believe we had Ms. McGee's head sent to your classroom, but... You notice anything missing? Missing? When I found her in the box, I was too shocked to be looking for clues. I may... I may well have missed something. Wait... He doesn't mean... Rajut's brain? Correct! You do catch, qu catch on quickly. Ms. McGee did come to meet you quite frequently. Of course, having been placed in Labor 9, she has lost much of her personality. Then she's... alive? But her body is gone. All that's left is her brain. We can still ca Can we still call that alive? Alive or not, I don't know anymore. Can you save her? That is a difficult question. We tend to think of there being a definite border between life and death. But really, it's quite vague. 
Her personality still remained in this world up until a few minutes ago. You gave poor Labor Nine quite a shock, shall we say. Alas, Miss Mickey's brain is no doubt irreversibly damaged. The wonders of modern medicine can do nothing for her now but sigh and shake their heads. Yesterday her body, and today her mind. You are far more twisted villain than I could ever hope to be, Mr. Kawara. I killed Prajut. It was my fault all along. Why did it have to happen this way? This was all arranged for you. I had Labor 9, Mr. Sakazaki, and the Headmaster help you along in your investigation. You are but one step from the end now. You must remember one more thing. What was it you and Ms. McGee told me long ago? Come, follow me. He holds out, he holds out his wing. What lies beyond here? Pursuit is gone. The one who killed her was here from the beginning. I have nothing more to lose. You are obedient, Mr. Kawara. Wait! Textoris Melodia Funis! The demon spores are the thickest that way! You will not be able to return! That's right. The doctor's probably going to do something unspeakably horrible to you, Kawara. Come back! Thank you for bringing Mr. Kawara this far, you two. And now, goodbye. Oh dear. This looks bad. Do you suppose it's poison gas? This presence, Mystic Phantom, the Avatar of Miasma. You do take everything in stride, don't you, Higure? <laughs> you fucking freak. You just don't Jesus fucking care, Christ. do you? <laughs> Two humans lie in a twisted pile. They are Prishut's parents. She said they work as mediators between birds and humans. They were trying to say something to the humans barricaded on the other side of the wall, but they received only bullets as a reply. The death of her parents became a signal. I know. The birds surrounding the little house crossed the wall as one. I can hear gunfire from inside. I can hear humans and birds screaming. We could do nothing but stand outside and watch. And then the stranger came and spoke to us. Is there anything you desire? I will grant any wish for you, so tell me. I answered. I don't want these things to happen anymore. My wish is for a world where humans and birds no longer fight. Even if I die, I want there to be peace. And Prajut continued. I agree. I would do anything to make Riota's wish come true. The stranger nodded. It might not be possible right now, but one day I will make it happen. More pressure. Experiment. <laughs> when we were children. That's right. That was you. That was the other thing you had forgotten. You've remembered, I see. Eight years ago, a number of humans barricaded themselves in a building not far from where we lived. Prejude's parents were shot by other humans, and many birds and humans were killed in the ensuing gunfight. And I met the doctor. I asked for a world in which humans and birds no longer fight. Yes, and then another actor did an impression of me. <laughs> you and Ms. McGee both said you would be glad to die to bring it about. So I'm carrying out your wish, just as you had stated it. Even symbiotic relationships are not free from strife. In order to end the wars between humans and birds forever, one race would have to be completely destroyed, you see. Why did you choose me back then? Choose you? Why did I ask you what your wish was, you mean? I assure you, it was no coincidence. I am not so bored as to wander around granting wishes willy-nilly. I, too, have made a promise to grant your wish. The preliminary test yesterday was a resounding success. We need only transfer the original lysosomes from Fuji Fujishiro Nageki to you, and everything will be in place. 
I have granted your wish. Though, I did make you jump through a few hoops so you would remember your wish and understand my intentions. It would be the least you could do to at least acknowledge all I have done for you. Hmm? Uh, I don't care about anything now. Rajut is gone. My wish has destroyed everything. Nothing good has ever happened. If this is what my life is to be like, I wish I had never been born. I don't want to see anything anymore. No one likes a bummer, Ryota. <laughs> don't be anxious. You'll have no you have no will to resist. So soon you will forget it all. Good night, Mr. Kawara. Eugenics is the only way to stop xenophobia. Wow, buddy. Stellar <laughs> logic there. Oh, oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> I am back. Hello. <laughs> Ugh, my crimson breast senses. <coughs> Talking will just make it worse, Higure. It seems to be leaking in quite slowly. I'm glad we have a little more time, but it's getting hard to breathe. Wallenstein, you coward. Come out and fight. Coo, coo. Hold on just a little longer. We'll get you out of here. I'll try to open the cage, Oko. You see you see to the gas. Cuckoo, Oko san shall not fail. The boys. The boys. The boys. Ah. Much better. No one can say you slack off as a student president, Shirogane. The crimson breast shall not forget this. Are you two alone? This music. Where did Kawara go? Cuckoo, were you separated? Did Ryota wander off and get lost? No, he didn't. He got carried off by the doctor. Carried off. Cuckoo, oh no. No doubt the doctor is making him drink nasty protein supplements as we speak. Definitely, bud. <laughs> if we do not act soon... The funeral song shall herald the coming of the darkness. Why can you never speak in plain Japanese, miserable poltron? He's saying that the doctor is planning to turn Kawara into a biological weapon. What? We can explain while we walk, assuming I don't run out of breath. Very well, let us proceed. I assume you mean run, as in like you're running to stop this. Kawara, are you alive? Ah. Uh. Koo! Okusen has a bad feeling about this. Ryota is not normal. Miserable medical man. What have you done to him? Why, if it isn't the son of the noble LaBelle family. What is one of your prestige doing here? <laughs> your pathetic jabs mean nothing to me. What have you done to Kawara? I have granted his wish. That is all. It is almost ten. The human forces are gathered above. Mr. Kawara must now return to the surface and begin the end of the human race. Kawara would wish for no such thing. He would never harm a human. Right, Kawara? Uh... It seems he is hesitant to agree with you. <laughs> what? He has been swallowed by the demon spores. Our voices will not reach him. It is time for us to go. He has but little time left in this world and cannot afford to waste any of it. He has but little time. What does this mean? His duty now is to fly about the world, spreading the seeds of of destruction throughout all of humanity. <laughs> it will be a feat impossible for any normal rock dove. Of course, he will be shot at as well. If he were to fall from his wounds, he would die before completing his task. Ku, do not fear. Okusen will stop Ryura here and now. Uh... Uh, cool. There he goes. 
but he just hit Rio. <laughs> Mr. Koara has traded his free will for normally impossible physical tenacity. He's been brainwashed. We have to stop him and bring him back to his senses before he reaches the surface. But Oka is stronger than any of us. And he was sent flying just like that. How can we keep him here? Mm. Kawara is very strong, but lacks control right now, right? Maybe we should ask Higure. What? Him? He's nuts! <laughs> Black Bindona. There he goes again, spouting nonsense. Wait, Kawara, stop! Oh! No, oh dear. There goes Shiragane. Hey, Kazuaki, could you give a shit for like two oh, seconds? Dang, I guess <laughs> my students are getting flung around the room. Darn. I don't know the what demon. you want from me. This is the voice I'm doing. <laughs> the demon red eye speaks. Seal the disaster with the power of the chosen one. <laughs> oh. He's reacting. How is that frail Luzon able to affect him? What does Luzon mean? Hypnotizing him. According to the documents back there, Higure has the ability to pull others into his own fantasies and break down their mental restraints. I think I made that last part up. <laughs> I was talking to the doctor about it earlier, too. I think it's real. Luzon is the first part of his species name. He is a Luzon bleeding heart dove. Okay. Oh, the music's back. Mental restraints? Like how does a desperate man... Like how a desperate man can be stronger than usual? The demon red eye heralds the awakening by the power of the blood-stained hand. I seal the funeral song! Cool! Okusen attack! Okusen cannot possibly lose in a fight with Ryota! There we go! Perfect! <laughs> We're supposed to convince Ryota. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. We're supposed to convince Ryota to stop while ourselves being drawn into some bizarre fantasy? This is madness! Don't think about the consequences, Shiragane. Just go along with it! Prepare yourselves. We fight, brethren bound with the red lotus fetters. Ryota, yeah. Texoris Melodius Funus appears. Angel's turn. I, uh, <laughs> Black Demon, be silent. <laughs> Texoris Melodia Funus. Now it is time to break Wallenstein's spell. Hear the call of the red lotus. Sans turn. Coo or coo coo. I'm uh, gonna do a single coo this time. Coo, a violet Ryota is no good at. is not a good Ryota. Come to your senses. Kazuaki's turn. Uh, listen to us. We're all trying our best for you, Kawada. <laughs> Come back to us. Sakia's turn. Pull yourself together. Do you not care? Do you plan to destroy all we've gained? Stop, Kawara! This is not the path you must travel. Question mark's turn. I wonder who this could be. Jeez, Ryota. Oh. You're causing everybody trouble. There's a thing. Look I back. don't want to see you like this either. I'm the only berserker class character this story needs. Wake up already, Ryota! Ryota was defeated. Oh. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Laura, uh. pull yourself together. Do you want this? No, I don't. Cuckoo, Ryota is a vegetarian and shouldn't exert himself. I don't want to make anyone sad. The remitter reactivated? Fascinating. It should not have been possible for some hours yet. Disease is half the, is half in the mind, after all. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Outlook is surprisingly <laughs> important. 
<laughs> that's not how. No. I sub. That's not how it works. <laughs> I'm a doctor. <laughs> I suppose this means my data was insufficient. This is the end, dark sorcerer Wallenstein. Be judged by the crimson breast. Wait, Angiel. It's not just his fault. <laughs> Why do you protect him? He is the one who did this to you. Yeah. T he is. Tell me, Doctor. <laughs> Why did you go so far to grant my wish? Why did I grant your wish? My reason is nothing of note. It is not worth telling. This was merely an experiment that has now come to an end. You must have had a reason. You aren't the sort to go around talking to children without some purpose. I want to know the answer to everything. The answer is nowhere near as glamorous as you are expecting, I assure you. Backstory, backstory, backstory. Backstory. Backstory, backstory. Hey, good morning, Isa. Sorry to spring this on you, but could you take a look at these? What is it? What is it, sir? You seem excited. It's amazing. The healing, the healers we got earlier. Healers? Ah, the Hellas cells from last month. Yeah, them. From the unusually old human. Aiding science, even after death. Can't we at least call the samples by their proper name? You've always been serious like that, Isa. These samples are like sweet lovebirds. Touch them with kindness and they respond beautifully. Just how many lovebirds do you have again? Perhaps you should call them pet birds instead. Uh, maybe you're right. Anyway, look at this. We've been looking into cancer cell immortality. This? Indeed. These results are amazing. You're quite lucky with these things. It's all about love. Or intuition. That too. This is Yushu. Kawara Ryuji. He is quite possibly the most gifted researcher alive. He has abilities and intuition that not even he can explain. Hey, good morning, Isa. Nice weather, huh? Makes me want to do something outside. It's already evening. I believe no, I believe one normally switches to good evening around now. It's good morning whenever I get up, Isa. Will. <laughs> get distracted by things like common sense and you'll miss the greatest discoveries of your life. Sophistry. Hey, good morning, Isa. Whoopsie, uh, we're low on cash. Here, was this the one? I didn't ask you to pick it up for me. Here, take it. It's not like we're running out. You sound like a pushy salesman. Your right wing is injured, right? If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've been doing fine so far. Hey, good morning, Isa. Hey, can I say something? What is it, sir? I'm somewhat busy. You're always busy. If I waited for you to take a break, I'd die of old age before I got to say. Talking like this gets us nowhere. Guess what? I had a kid! Hmm. I see. Congratulations. What? Don't you have anything else to say? Not particularly. Reproduction is natural for all living creatures. Of course, were I to become a father, I would feel bad for the child, given my habit of locking myself away in the laboratory. Wise choice. <laughs> Just love mm -hmm. that. Oh, he was gay. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only bird who I ever recognized. The only one I ever recognized is worthy of my respect. What the fuck does this have to do with genocide? We're getting there. <laughs> this is this is my story. Hey, good morning, Isa. I brought you something cool. Mm -hmm. What is it? 
A fossil. Look at it. It's huge. You act like an excited child. Hey, I like geology, too. Ah, oh, it tempts me with spouse breach. I will carry on your research while you are out, then. Go on. Dang, you're cold. Hey, listen, want to come with me on a business trip sometime? Field observation's fun! My next one's at the start of the month. Well, I am interested in your work, sir. I am partway through a fascinating process at the moment. Perhaps another time. Yeah? I'll invite you next time, then. I bet traveling with you would be a blast. Field observation is not exactly sightseeing. I will make sure to open time in my schedule, though. His last moments were dreadfully anticlimactic. He fell ill with a disease endemic to the island. By the time we returned home, he was so emaciated one could barely recognize him. He had watched as many other birds succumb to the disease, so I was sure. Sure that he would die in this examination room, surrounded by his family. Isa, I always knew this was a possibility. Yes, sir. I don't regret the way I did things. No, sir. But I just remembered. I do have one regret. Yes, sir. I've never done anything a father's supposed to do. I promised to take time off for the first time in years. I want you to do me a favor, Isa. If you ever run into my son, can you do something for him in my stead? A rather vague request. He's too nice. He'd never ask for something even if he wanted it. I suspect he inherited that trait from his father. <laughs> anyway, if you ever happen to meet him, you don't have to go out of your way to find him or anything. Hmm. Very well. I shall remember. What is his name? Ryota. It's Kawara Ryota. Can I... I'm just gonna chop you up. You vanished from my life before <laughs> I ever told you my feelings. And I've chased your shadow since then. Is this what they mean by quitting while you're ahead? Or was it just cowardice? No matter how I study life, its past, its future, I will never be able to surpass you. And that was my only goal. Kawara Ryuta, the son of Dr. Kawara, carrying half his genetic material and otherwise unrelated. But this boy, he may be the only way for me to catch your shadow now. <laughs> now I should clarify. Don't do anything for Ryota that involves genocide. I didn't hear that last <laughs> What did you say? I was on my phone playing Candy Crush. <laughs> I just saw on Twitter that they they struck the Pentagon. It's <laughs> oh my God. God. When your father died, my world was altered. One might say his influence over me grew after death. Both for good and for ill. Kawara Ryuji. All I can recall of him now is his voice and the color of his... Oh, that, this might be you. Uh, make some clarification. Oh, that might be me. Yeah, never mind. He I don't know. Oh, yeah. He rarely returned home, yeah. always leaving mother and me alone. You did this to carry out my father's will? You misunderstand. This was not just a part in kindness between colleagues. I doubt that there is anyone in this world with a stronger sense of duty than mine. This was his final challenge to me, and you see the result. But your refusal is hardly rational. I was only trying to grant your wish, and had you but accepted, it would be so. It was just a fucking prank, okay? <laughs> 
Are you dissatisfied with something? A world without strife where no one will have a loved one stolen from them. That is the world I wished for. I never asked for a wor asked for a world where the human race is killed. What kind of genie bullshit is this? <laughs> you should have been more you should have been clearer with your words is all I'm saying. <laughs> You never said don't kill the human race. I didn't know that. I know that you were like, I know you were like eight or something and just witnessed a horrible massacre, but you should have been more specific. A pity that you did not say so eight years ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sakuya. Yeah. Uh, what, absurd, what absurd contract was this? There was no power in prayer. I should never have met you. Doctor, my wish ends today. Father is no longer in this world. There's no reason for you to chase after his final will anymore. <laughs> Does this mean you're sympathizing with me? Oh, how I have fallen. I can feel his gaze, pitying gaze even now. Very well. The contract ends today. And I must admit defeat. It is not over yet. We must open the gate of Tartarus in the depths of the abyss. We only have about ten minutes until the humans come in from above. Instructions unclear tried to commit genocide. <laughs> <laughs> happy kill everyone got it <laughs> i see you are still alive gentlemen oh. mr leon i bring with me all those who had taken refuge in the gym whoa it's like something out of a science fiction movie i bet it was built by mibs rad well, I guess nobody's panicking, anyway. Mr. Shiragane, I will recover Sakazaki's body before I leave. Have no fear. Grateful to you. The exit is no doubt activated by the vital signs of the researchers who work here. Correct. Do not fear, I shall lead you to it. Cuckoo. The doctor is even creepier when he's being cooperative. I do not base my actions on foolish pride or emotion. I carried an, out an experiment, and I have now obtained the result. I have nothing more to gain or lose here. Such bullshit. Lamau. <laughs> JK. Is that everyone? Thank God. Shall we go, Koara? Can you stand? Uh, yeah, but... We need to bring McGee with us. I think everyone else has gone outside. Doctor, I shall not forget what has taken place here. Once we're outside, I shall see that you face judgment. Your words are haughty and immature, as always. Do as you please, if you can. I will indeed remember my face, villain. Well, who knows? I find you uninteresting, so I may well forget. I must think carefully about my plans once I am outside. I still have much research to... Oh. I would shoot him. <clears throat> Doctor? Please tell me someone shot him. A gunshot echoes through the room. The doctor collapses. Madness! There should still be time before the humans! Oh! Mr. Nanaki? A pistol in his hand! He wobbles, <laughs> he wobbles over to the doctor with the you same unsteady, believe. careless gaze as always, and... <laughs> He's just uh, fighting him up! Uh, Double tap! <laughs> This is the end of your research. Nanaki, what? 
Stop. The doctor should should have a fair trial once we... <laughs> a fair trial? Hmm. What do you think, doctor? Ah, uh, well, I am impressed at your acuity in attacking my uninjured left side. But of course, thank you. Tell me, Dr. Iwaman. No, Isa. I need to bring him back with me. That's why I've done all this. Tell me, where's Nageki? Nanaki points his gun at the immobilized doctor. He looks quite prepared to shoot the partridge dead at any moment. Oh, is that it? <laughs> I had quite forgotten. Mr. Fujishiro's brother. He was a quail. Oh. Legasp. 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 What? Uh, so this is this is uh, still Kazuaki. So go ahead, Nubby. Nageki, are you by yourself here again? You should play in the park with everyone else. I'm fine. I would just get tired. Isn't talking to me a waste of time, Hitori? You've been busy recently, have you not? I know we're short on money. That's not something you need to worry about. We adults are working hard to make sure you don't have to worry. You're a child too, Hitori. You're only five years older than me, after all. You don't think I should be working? No, that's... that's not what I meant. I just... can't do anything. I at least want to stay out of your way. It's not about whether you're doing anything or not. You're part of the family, and we need you. That doesn't help. With my body like this, I can't work or go to school. That's just how it is. You're thinking too hard, Nikeki. Let's go pick some millet in the yard. It's almost dinner time. A full stomach scares the bad things away, right? Is that me as well? I don't know. September 2nd, 2180. Hot Toeful House. <laughs> where the rest of the war orphans and I live together. Yeah, it is. I was always a little better at studying than the others, so I teach at the local school to help make ends meet. Going to work and coming home. Every Friday, we all gather together and have supper. There are children who go to school. There are those who work like me. And children like Nageki, who stay home. Our family is a patchwork of ages and lives, but we always eat together on this day. What should we have? We might have enough left over, or we could pool our money and buy something. I had more work than usual last month, so I got paid a little more than usual. I'll get something nice. I'll head home and see what everyone wants first. But this day was different. Our home was surrounded by security vehicles. It's an attack by the... Or somebody else want to read that? It's an, it's attack. an attack by the Human Liberation Front. We can't let any birdie in. We sent we two human ne <laughs> negotiators and they were shot. We're going to storm the place. Get back, it's dangerous. Hey, you, are you listening? I remember angry shouts coming from every direction, but I couldn't tell what they were saying. The only things I could focus on were the gunshots from inside. Today was supposed to be our day. No one has ever been missing on a Friday before. No one could disappear today. We have to be together today, no matter what. When I went in, the gunshots had stopped. All that was left were corpses and ruin and... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> everyone. Everyone is covered in blood. Immobile. The humans, the security forces, and my family. What did we do? We had nothing. Our parents and our homes had already been stolen by the humans. All we had left were each other. Why do they have to keep stealing from us? Why? Why? It 
story. <laughs> you were outside. Good. Oh, mm -hmm. oh it's Nageki. Nageki, you're alive. Everyone else? I see. Nageki was hiding in the innermost room. He must have heard everything from inside his hiding place. Human corpses are scattered throughout the room. Nageki, were you afraid? I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault, Hitori. I wasn't there. F I wasn't here when you needed me. Don't apologize, Hitori. I don't know how I could live if you were gone, too. When I found him then, I didn't notice, but... None of the human corpses in that room had been shot. Oh. He killed them all with his goo. With his being around them. <laughs> this will be our room from now on. The house is too big for just the two of us. Right. It's a little... Lonely. Yeah. Hitori, what should I do? Isn't there anything I could do to help? You just have to be happy and well. Don't push yourself. We'll find something for you to do, okay? I noticed almost as soon as we'd moved out of the Hatoful house. He was never very healthy to begin with, but he was getting worse and worse. What would start out as a slight cold would turn into a high fever and then go on for days. It was painful to watch. Was it really just his weak body? I couldn't do anything. Should we get a doctor, Nageki? I'm fine. I'm fine. Nageki, wait! <clears throat> you still have a fever! Don't worry about the dishes, I'll take care of them. I told you. I'm fine. Don't. If you just say how you feel outright, I'll, I'll feel better too, Nageki, okay? But... How about this? From now on, I'm fine isn't allowed. What do you... Whenever you say you're fine, you never are. Okay. Go to bed for now, okay? Tomorrow I'm taking you to a doctor. Hello. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> <clears throat> this is hardly unusual. Nageki has a genetic mute condition which impairs his immune system. Impairs his immune system? I didn't think I'd be talking that much. All living creatures inherit defensive systems against viruses and the like from their parents, and we call them the immune system. But Nageki's is abnormally weak. And that's why he gets sick easily? Indeed. He can become infected with diseases that bodies such as yours or mine would fight off easily. It is probably best if he avoids going outside, as that could bring him into contact with more dangerous viruses. He could become seriously ill with little or no warning. Please, can you cure him? I will find whatever money it takes. He's the only family I have left. I understand how you feel, but as I said, his condition is her hereditary. I have never seen anything like it. I'm sorry, but I can't help him. We went to many hospitals and I talked to many doctors. They all said the same thing. I can't help him. Someone, please save Nageki. Anyone, I'll do anything. We had been all alone, but we found a home together, and it was taken from us. And now this. Someone, please help us. Soon after the start of 2183, a letter arrived. It was from a researcher at the St. Pigeonations Medical Institute. A Mr. Isasoma. I have that received... Be, yep. Yeah. I have <laughs> yeah. received a report about a boy named Fujishiro Nageki from a doctor at a certain hospital. I believe I know what his condition is. It is extremely rare. So my fellow researchers and I would be grateful for a chance to assist in curing it. We hereby invite him to come study at St. Pigeonations. 
We believe that solving the riddle of his sickness will bring great advances to all of bird science. The medical center will pay for his tuition. St. Pigeonations is a school of great prestige. Our cur That's still me! Our curricula and facilities are among the best in the world. <laughs> The medical center is located on the school grounds. We propose that he live in the center, out of concern for his delicate health. He will have access to the professional medical expertise any time he should need it. Please consult with the rest of your family, and if you are interested, contact me at the following address. I will be waiting. Issa Soma. This is amazing, Nageki. I'm glad we went to so many hospitals. I never expected an invitation like this. I don't want to go. I want to stay with you, Hitori. But you'll be able to go to school. I can only teach you what I know, but there's a lot that I don't know. And you'll be able to make friends. The doctors there will help with your illness, so it won't you won't have to be sick. Do you not want me here, Hitori? Oh, of course I do. But I'm worried. If you were to get really sick, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I think it would be better for you to stay with the doctors. I'll be lonely by myself, but I can wait until you're better. Become strong, Nageki, and then come back here. I'll wait for you, however long it takes. Okay. And so Nageki enrolled in St. Pigeonations. There had been a lot of us at, hot at the Hotofu house. And after that, I was with Nageki. I was lonely living by myself for the first time, but I was more worried about Nageki. I hope he makes good friends, but he's never been very sociable. At least he will have an easier life he there than here. And most importantly, they'll be looking for a cure. summer of that year, he sent a lot of letters home. That's you. I'm going to be undergoing intensive treatment over the summer. I wanted to come home, but they said this would be better for me. How are you? I'll write again soon. I asked Dr. Issa about a meeting, but he said no. I'm not the only one here with an unusual illness, and they have to be very careful about who comes in. Summer's half over now. Is it hot out? The basement of the center is always the same light and the same temperature. I miss you, Hitori. I'm fine. I'm fine, Hitori. Don't worry about me. I was worried. Nageki hadn't told me he was fine since he promised not to three years ago. What are they doing to him? Are they doing something bad to him? I tried calling Dr. Issa, but he always replied with, Progress is good and everything is fine. If everything is fine, why won't they let me come talk to him? I snuck into the medical center. I need to know if he's really alright. He said that he was undergoing intensive care in the basement. That must be where he is. How do I get there? I need... I need to get to the entrance to the basement. That was when I heard the alarm. I could hear urgent footsteps and the sounds of wings. The building almost... has almost all... all the most advanced equipment. They must have noticed me. But I was greeted at the corner not by guards, but by panicked researchers. All shouting the same thing, all heading for the exit. Fire! Fire! What? somebody else a fire subject subject zero zero said a fire call the fire department black smoke rolls towards me from the inner corridors nageki where is nageki nageki say something please where are you it's happening again nageki needs me and i'm not there i always leave him alone when he's in pain the smoke is clogging my lungs with its foul stench, but I run onwards anyway. Nageki is there, in a room filled with fire. Nageki, it's me! Hitori, I'm here to save you! 
R E. What happened? What did they do to you? Come on, we have to get out of here. I'm sorry. His face is clouded. He shuts the door and I hear the lock click shut. Open the door, Nageki! It's Hari. I can't go outside anymore. I can't live anymore. What did they do to you? I'm a fool. All this time I thought you were getting better. Thought you'd come home cured. I should be the one apologizing. Nageki, please. Come home with me. To our home. Listen, Hattori. I recorded everything that happened here and hid in the library. It's wrong. This is the only way to stop them. What are you talking about? We can talk later. I can't let you die. Can you do me a favor, Hattori? Anything. Please. Please. Make sure there's nothing left of my body. And... Uzume Hitori. I had heard that he died after the fire, but it would seem that our investigation was lacking. It is hardly easy to change your name and face. Nageki. He's calling. He's calling me, you know. Isa. I came to greet Nageki. Where is he? I see you're losing hold of your sanity. I'm serious. I've been waiting for, for this from the beginning. He told me what you were doing to him in here. But then you closed the facility. I've been waiting for this, Isa. Waiting for you to open this place again. Ever since I joined the faculty. He's still here, isn't he? Nageki. There were in Indeed, some pieces of him left after the fire. They have degraded in mere hours, had I left them. <clears throat> if it pleases you to call those bits of meat Fujishiro Nageki, I will not attempt to stop you. But those pieces have already been transferred to Mr. Kawara's body. <clears throat> you won't die just yet, Isa. Don't worry. Don't worry. So tell me, where is Nageki? I have to take him home now. If by Nageki you mean what was left of him after the fire, then it is Mr. Kawara's liver. The cells from his body that contained the Karen virus are now inside Mr. Kawara, parasitizing him. Oh, is that it? I see. Thank you, Isa. Hang on just a little longer, Isa. I need to ask Nageki what he thinks we should do with you. Mr. Nageki comes over to me, the same soft smile on his face as when he teaches class. Can you hear me, Nageki? I'm sorry I made you wait so long. I'm here now. Sir, it's me, Kawara Ryota, from your class. Please snap out of it. I don't know what I don't know what happened in the past, Nanaki, but this is not the time for such foolery. We only have a few minutes before the humans enter the school grounds. I won't take it won't take them long to find this place. Mm. Could you move over for a second, Shiragane? I need to talk to Kawara. He points the gun at Sakia. Jesus. <laughs> Sakya, he, he's serious. It's too noisy in here. Come on, Kawara. Let's go into that room. Just the two of us. Oh, uh, okay. This is wild. <laughs> what are you thinking? Are you planning to lock yourself in? Open the door! Open it, I say! Isa said he's in your liver, didn't he? Where is the liver, I wonder? Do you know Kawara? Sir, Nageki would never have wanted this. 
He stares thoughtfully at my stomach, a knife in his hand. My body feels weak. I think I must have put too much into that fight earlier. I won't be able to resist. Nageki, 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 can you hear me? I've come to save you again. Where are you? Tell me, what part of Kawara do I need to cut open to find you? Nageki, 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 Nageki. Sir, listen to me. He moves the knife from one place to another as if making an estimation. He's going to... Oh, I see. It's hide and seek. I'll look as hard as I can, then. Just a little longer. We'll be able to go home in just a little bit, Nageki. Together. Ugh. Stop it, Hitori. The knife is stuck deep into the wall underneath my wing. I can hear Nageki's voice, but I can't see him. The voice is coming from inside me. <laughs> Pergante? <laughs> no! <Mr>. No! <laughs> oh no! Crazy Damn it. water! <laughs> Mr. Kawara, let me use your body for a bit. Okay, go ahead. Can you hear me, Hitori? Of course. I've talked with you every night. You told me, Nageki. Told me to come get you. Told me to exact revenge on Isa. No, Hitori, that was not me. I never told you to do that. Have you forgotten what I asked you to do, Hitori? A second thing. I remember. Of course I remember. So let's go home. Listen, Hitori, I'm no longer here. I can no longer go home with you. Who said that? Oh, I see. It was Isa, wasn't it? Only he would say something mean like that. No, it wasn't him. Don't worry, Nageki. I'll take care of him in a minute. Don't worry. Hitori, I never asked for you to come for me. I never asked for you to exact revenge. Who was it? Nageki. It was Nageki. I... I have no idea who this is. I think that's you. Is it? Okay. You. I died because of you. You abandoned me here. I never wanted to come here. It was you who killed me. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. I will not... Forgive, Hitori. I'm sorry, Nageki. But I know that no apology will ever fix it. S sir, what? There is no shat- there is a shadow in Hitori's heart. His own shadow pretending to be mine. Come for me, Hitori. I'm here. I know. I know. I don't want to be alone. I don't want you to be alone. You will never forget me. You will live with me. You will live with your sin forever. That's what you want, isn't it? If you want me to carry this pain, I will, Nageki. I won't ask for forgiveness. I won't. He's crying. Tortured by his own shadow. I'm sorry, Nageki. I'm sorry. Sorry. I don't want you to be in pain. He's trying to destroy his feelings of guilt. He wants to be saved. If you're here, his pain will go away. Help me save him. Yes. Oh. Oh. Hitori, I was tortured by them in this place. It was terrible. Isa and the others should die in pain. All of them should die. As long as they live, my pain will never disappear. Mr. Nanaki. Uh, revenge will solve nothing! 
Sir, you and Nageki both lost those most, most important to you to strive. You should know best of all people that revenge helps no one. It brings no happiness, only pain. If I hadn't been there, Nageki would never have died. I was never there when he needed me. I'm sorry, Nageki. If I had been better, this would have never happened. Everything would have been fine if you'd never met me. If I hadn't been there, you never would have felt pain. Sir, why? Are you doing this to yourself? The time Nageki spent with you was his greatest treasure. I know how wonderful it is to be together with, so with loved ones, too. Nageki is glad he got to be with you, sir. There's nothing to regret. Come with me, Hitori. Look at me, Hitori. Hear only my voice, Hitori. I will tear your heart to pieces, and when it heals, I will tear it again, and again, and again. That is your punishment. It will be wonderful to live with me again. It'll be wonderful. Hitori. Please, Hitori, listen to me. The voice you hear is that of your own shadow. You've been hurting yourself all this time. Stop blaming yourself. I don't want to see you in pain. You asked me for two things, Nageki. The first was, come save me. So I... Listen to me, Hitori. My first wish was for you to make my body disappear from this world. As long as I live, as long as my body remains, someone will try to use the Sharon virus. That virus must disappear and my body with it. It will only bring sadness as long as it remains. You asked for one other thing. You asked me to take revenge on Dr. Issa, on all those who brought you pain. Yes, I need to grant this wish. I need to... It's horrid. No, Hitori. That was not my wish. Remember, Hitori. Remember my final wish. It's not about whether you're doing anything or not. You're part of the family and we need you. Oh, sorry. Reverse. I think that was flip flop. Yeah. yeah, the first line bad. is is uh, <laughs> Just continue on. Yeah. That doesn't help. <laughs> okay, that doesn't help with my body like this. I can't work or go to school. That's just how it is. You're thinking too hard, Nikaki. Let's go pick some millet in the yard. It's almost dinner time. A full stomach scares the bad things away, right? Oh. Oh. Chat, remember when Okasan became the god of pudding? <laughs> yeah, that happened like last stream. <laughs> Hold on. It, it could still play you out. Guys, remember when this was about dating birds? <laughs> this was about dating birds at a point. I think that's that still you. Oh, uh, okay. What a beautiful sunset. I guess it's autumn already. Are you cold, Nageki? I'm fine. Hitori, hmm? it would be easier for you without me, right? Why do you think that? I heard you and the others talking about it. Medicine costs a lot more than food. You're paying for it out of your salary, right? If you had that money for yourself, you could buy better food. You wouldn't have to work so much. So you would be better off without me. Don't say that, Nageki. I don't care about fancy food or free time. You're more important than any of that. You mean more to us than you think, Nageki. You were very young when you came here, so oh, maybe you that's don't... Me. Oh, that's still you. It's still you. I'm the older one. You were very young when you came here, so maybe you don't remember, but... Losing family is hard. I want to stay like this, watching over the people I love. Forever. So listen... Maybe it looks like I'm working just for you, but 
It's for me too. Seeing you happy makes me happy. Thank you, Hitori. I just wish I wasn't such a burden to you. Stop that already. You've never been a burden to me. Here, have some millet. Eat well, and, s and we can sleep well, too. Let's hope for good dreams, okay? <laughs> Jello, I hope everyone gets an overdramatic backstory one by one. You missed all the other ones. They happened already. <laughs> yeah, they all happened, like, either in their routes or in this stream. Like, like, to be fair, I, I will say, the Okasan route nothing. did not happen. Jello I hope said, walks up and is like, "Coo parentheses, my child died in my arms. <laughs> no, he's, he's a teenager, and he has no sad backstory. <laughs> he's just the god of pudding. He's just god. Mm -hmm. I hope we can stay with everyone like this forever. Oh, that was still you. I, oh, god. Yeah, that's fine. I, I it don't could know, be I think that is you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we both have this dream together. <laughs> yes. Yes, my second wish was live, Hidori. Live and be happy. Nageki, I can't be happy. You're gone. I can't be with you anymore. Look at me, Hitori. I want you to live. You don't have to feel guilty for me. I couldn't tell you why I was still here. At first, I thought my remains, the parts of me that are inside Mr. Kawara now, were keeping me here. But I don't think so now. I think I was just worried. Worried that you wouldn't be able to keep going alone. I, I can't, Nageki. I can't go on without you. I don't want to live without you. We've stayed here too long, Hitori. We have to move on. Don't worry. We'll meet again. Somewhere, sometime. Mr. Kawara, thank you. So the the message of Hitori's story, don't dye your entire body with bleach. You will go insane. <laughs> you will go crazy. You will suffer from insomnia. <laughs> which I guess explains why he's tired all the time. He's just passing out from like fume inhalation every now and again. Constantly. He dyed it with bleach? Yeah, it gets yeah. mentioned during one of the normal routes that he smells of bleach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just all the time. Uh, also, his wife's dead. <laughs> uh, Kawara, are you unhurt? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. That was weird, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird as hell. Thank God I'm back. How unexpected. If it were me, your insides would have divulged themselves and their secrets long ago. Is anyone going to patch me up? I shot you no. three times. <laughs> Nanaki, I will not forgive this mad- Don't worry about it, Sakia. It's already over. We need to get out. We're already out of time. But he hurt my boyfriend. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> nah. Nageki was kept frozen here, right, Doctor? Indeed he was. The facility was sealed off, so it was hardly difficult to keep people from snooping around. I'm staying here with Prashut. What are you saying, Kora? Come with us at once. I see. Kawara. I thought you would say that. The Charon virus has now has by now colonized your body quite completely. Were you to leave, any humans you encountered would suffer a painful death. Oh my god. What? Was this your plan all along, you conniving physician? Surely there's some way to remove the virus. Alas, that would be impossible with current medical technology. Once established in the body, it is quite tenacious.
Even if we were to remove the tissues from Mr. Fujishiro, Mr. Kawara would still carry the virus. Madness. Lunacy. The same goes for Ms. McGee's damaged brain. It is currently preserved inside a glass jar, but just barely. Indeed, given Labor Nine's behavior and the subsequent damage she was dealt, there is no guarantee that her personality and memories are still retrievable. With current medical technology, anyway. Shiragane, let's go outside. You mean to leave Kawara here? How deep does your selfish nature run? We'll come back for him. It's impossible now, but one day we may be able to remove the virus from his body. I think. I think that Nageki would say the same. Well, Mr. Shiragane, I think perhaps you would do well to respect Mr. Kawara's thoughts on the matter. I feel as if this one day has brought entire lifetimes worth of fatigue. <laughs> I just uh -huh. want to rest for a little while. I'm worried about mother. Sakia, could you tell her I'll be back one day? Listen, Kora. A label? No. I never go back on my word. No matter how long it takes, I will come back for you. I swear. So, promise me, please. Promise me that you'll leave this place with me alive. Right. I promise. I'll be waiting for you. A lot sure has happened today, huh, Prashut? Does this mean we're finally getting into recap mode, Ryota? I'm half sick from being stuck out here, not even knowing what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I guess you only got to see the bits and pieces of the story. Yep, so will you fill me in, please? Uh, I guess we have plenty of time for it. I'm gonna miss eating udon. But having you here makes things at least a little better, right? Where do I start? Everything that's happened, what's happening now, and everything that might happen one day. We have plenty of time to talk about it all. And that is the end of the video game. The best friends, friends with a brain Christ. in a jar. <laughs> oh. Best friends locked in a big science lab. Forever. Forever. <laughs> Yippee. With a brain. That's like this is a dating sim. This is a dating sim. Like, no one got a happy end. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's fucking depressing. Uh -huh. I'm gonna, I'm, my nephew was pounding on the door. I'll see what he wants. I'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. My family probably is so confused. I was not expecting to sit here for five hours. Yeah, I, oh, yeah there's... If we did everything right. We should get the epilogue question mark. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, no, birds no birds were harmed during the making of this game. game. None of it was real, guys. Don't Let's worry. Let's go, Moa-san. Let's go, Moa-san. I love your video games. Your video games are great. Thank you. I love what a fucking insane bummer this game is. It's so funny. <laughs> I, I see Kevin to cry today. I see <laughs> Jello and Jack going, Kevin McLeod, yeah! There we go. Uh, the feather. The feather. Fallen feather. Here we are. Madness. Why, if it isn't my darling little brothers. <laughs> I'm alive, yeah. Don't worry about it. You scum. You villain. Explain yourself. Why are you still alive? Why, well, for starters, I could never bring myself to leave all the ladies sad and alone. How much must you mock me before you will be satisfied? Hello again. Leon. Truth be told, Leon here gave me an antidote. <laughs> I was loitering around on the border between life and death, and he pulled me back up in a miraculous revival. He said he was going to go recover your body. 
I do not recall saying I was going to recover his corpse. Lunacy, madness, inconceivable. <laughs> Give it back. Give me back the time and mental energy I spent mourning you. Nope. <laughs> oh, you mourned me? I'm flattered. No, I'm, oh. I'm back. What do you mean there's more? <laughs> you is alive, by the way. Smile. <laughs> Just like a little epilogue, yeah. If this, if this is the epilogue, that means that if you didn't unlock all the other endings, you just thought Yuya was dead. Uh-huh. <laughs> we can't stay long, Sakazaki Yuya. It's time to set out on our next bright and massive mis- mission. This is your chance to regain the department's trust. Roger that. Let's go. Sexy and suave. Can't. Cuckoo, oak sun f- s- s- fell smooth. There's a deliciousness nearby. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> Black bean donna. Who, Angel, do you have food? Uh, what did I. Can the demon spores encroach again? Who, stick him up. Oko-san demands your beans or your life. So, you appear a bone-white bird of bean-eating. By the oath of old, join me! They're still going at it. Is, is Saki like the straight man in all of this right now? Yes. Saki okay. is the, the one left now. Hello, Shiragane. How are you? What? Why are you, of all people, pushing Iwamani's wheelchair? Well, I'm I would never have expected into this you river. To. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Taking responsibility for injuries dealt to another party by tending to them seems to be a natural enough reaction to me. I need to apologize somehow, don't I? If you change your mind and decide it's time to exact revenge again, I never met either of you, understand? Come on, Shiragane. That would never happen. Probably. Oh, how wonderful. I can feel the suspense in the air. Somehow I feel like attempting to apply ethical guidelines to either of you is completely futile. Anyway, I needed to talk to you. I have the results from the experiment the other day. Were there no problems? None at all. It was a perfect success. Well, I guess that means it's time, doesn't it? I have the date. If you can come, please do. <laughs> All friends, even yeah, Doctor Iwamani. Can't, <laughs> can't fucking believe the doctor lived. Times. Orochimaru at the end of Naruto. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mr. Kawara, Miss McGee, can you hear me? Morning's almost here. I think that's Miggy. And it'd be calling him Prejute. Yeah. I think this oh. is Sakuya. Okay. Wake up, Kawara. Miggy, I told you I wouldn't go back on my word. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Sakuya you should have out. killed me. I'm a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> he still has a knife. Why do you have that? Yippee! There you go. That's, that's every it. achievement. That's it. 100% that's every in video game, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, I, I, just because we've been here for a while, obviously. Thank you all for playing with me. Thank you, uh, Vixen, for getting all these people together for me so I could do this. <laughs> it's been really great. And usually at the end of these things, uh, you guys do shout outs if there's anything you want to promote, anything you want to say, or anything like that, uh, starting from the top of the list. Bolts. Uh, I'm very happy to get to be a part of this. I usually don't do a lot of voice acting, so getting the chance to play around like this was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thank you guys for including me. And uh, yeah, I stream on Twitch and on YouTube. I make a lot of fun retro fact videos if any of that interests you or if you want to see me do other crazy stuff. Go ahead, follow me. I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, I follow you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you mm-hmm. for that super Zogsden pride as well. Oh my gosh. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh damn, nice. And Nubby. Yeah, I mean, what what can I say of that that Bolts hasn't already said? I'm 
it was just pleased as punch to be here. This was an absolute blast. I was so excited <laughs> to be included, and I had so much fun voice acting with you guys. I really hope we can do it again. You guys I do great things job. sometimes, but I'll make it fun. You have to find me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd love to keep doing stuff like this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, same here. Uh huh. And also, uh, TB. Uh, it, seeing other people go through this game for the first time has been a treat, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. especially with the vague memories I have from playing this, like, way back when. Uh, thank you guys so much for having me. You guys were incredible. It was so honorable. I'm so honored to be able to voice alongside you guys. Uh, I was delighted to watch people react in <laughs> real time. <laughs> it was so cool. <laughs> Uh, I do other voice stuff. If you want to follow yeah. me or look at any of that other stuff, you're, follow you're, me at Tunnel VA. On you Twitter. were you were just in uh, Unicorn Overlord as Gilbert. Yes. Yeah. Play yeah. Unicorn Overlord. Smile. It's a good yeah. video game. Smile. Mm -hmm. Smile. And last but not least, Vixen. Oh, I'm just. I'm so happy that I finally got to show people one of my personal favorite games and the hilarious <laughs> reactions you guys had. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's great. Uh, I would love one day to get the, <laughs> all of us together and play Holiday Star, which is the sequel. Yeah. But oh, Holiday gosh. Star is Christmas themed, my guys. So, so maybe we'll wait a little while before that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, if you don't know where to find Vixen yet, when you're watching this channel, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, Vixen <laughs> underscore VTuber. That's where you, oh, Vixen streams way more, like so fucking much. So yeah, but yeah, uh, this has been a pleasure to do. Uh, thank you all for coming out for this five hour stream. Thank you all for watching uh, all of this uh, and make sure to stay tuned looking at it. It's not going to be this weekend, but uh, check, you know, the live schedule thing that you see. Cause uh, I think the next game we play, I think is going to be a uh, pizza game. So yeah, and uh, Jello's game good. Jello's coming back. Good. Uh, say goodbye to me, cause Jello's here. Uh, thank <laughs> God. Uh, so yeah, um, and that's pretty much all I gotta say. So uh, I don't know. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.